Las Vegas. It'll make you richer than your wildest dreams. Then take it all away in the blink of an eye. And the staff of the legendary Binion's Casino has seen it all. They work in a city where anything goes. And each new day, you must expect the unexpected. But tonight, for the first time, what happens in Vegas won't be staying there. Before there was the Strip, there was downtown Las Vegas, where high and low rollers came to Binion's, one of the first casinos on Fremont Street, the original Strip. 60 years later, they're still coming. Binion's is one of the oldest casinos. Originally, it was the Hotel Apache, and then Benny Binion bought it. I'm the top dog for all the casino operations. My lifelong dream was to run one of the casinos on Fremont Street because this is the history and this is where it all started. How's everything? Good. Right around right. 20 total. Good. Well, they talk about New York's the city that never sleeps, but Vegas, you can do anything during any time of day or night. Between the entire operation, the casino, the steakhouse, and other accommodations, we have approximately 500 employees. And they include a new addition to the casino floor. Single and ready to bingo. The Cowgirls. Glenn found a way to make Binion's dealers stand out. The Cowgirls were meant to attract the new players, the younger players. The Cowgirl dealers. Just a, a godsend to the casino, something that we really needed a shot in the arm. My responsibility is to oversee the table games, make sure my dealers are where they're supposed to be. Lou, 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 make that, raise that game up. Raise Glenn and I go back at least 25 years. He's just a, a good guy to work for. He puts a lot of trust and faith in my ability to do things. When he's not here, I'm him. Beginning this weekend is one of the most important events of the year for Binion's, the Poker Classic. The Binion's Poker Classic looks like it's going to be a lot more uh, crowded than it's been in previous years. We've got many more tables, we need more games, we need more dealers. The Poker Classic does bring in poker players from all over the country and even all over the world. We're definitely looking at 10,000 poker players coming through the casino. So we're going to be grabbing dealers from anywhere we can get them, but we know we're going to be a little bit short. So I was wondering, uh, you know, can we train some of the dealers uh, that we have regular? Do you have any ideas? Yeah, I think we can use one of the cowgirls. Jenna would be a good look. Oh, OK. Poker Classic. There you go. Got such a positive response <laughs> about the girls in the craps and, and blackjack pit. You know, let's give it a try. Jana has the edge that you need. She became an excellent 21 dealer. She picked it up really quick. Some people are just naturals at dealing. Jana's one of them. Before I was a dealer, I worked in a cubicle. I did all that paperwork. Oh, 10 hour days in a cubicle? No way. Never again. Your woman with the hard six. Give it to her. <laughs> Vegas is awesome. You can come here and be whoever you want to be, and nobody's going to question you. The biggest difference between my small town in Nebraska and Vegas is in Nebraska, you know everyone. Vegas, if you don't like somebody, you'll never see them again. <laughs> We got a lot of things to go over. This weekend we have a wedding up on the pool deck. We have the start of the fifth annual Binion's Poker Classic, so we need everybody to make sure they're on the top of their games, especially the poker dealers. Johnny, you're gonna be dealing poker for the first time. I'm a little nervous. You know, I deal dice. I, I, I don't deal poker, but it'd be so awesome to get that experience on my resume. So we need you to be in tip top shape. No drinking the night before. You're ready to go with that. We're going to have a lot of new poker players in and a lot of high-stake poker players. I'll be ready. Then we should be ready for the weekend. Good luck, everybody. Vegas is synonymous with games of chance, and one of the most common is weddings. Soaring 25 floors above the casino, the killer view of Binion's Steakhouse is the romantic setting where many couples have had their first and last meals. Gentlemen, we're ready for the big party here, the main events. Oh, yeah. It's really a classic steakhouse. We serve 
prime steaks and seafood. Very simply, very tasty, very good. After you, my dear. Ladies first. Pretty set up pretty nicely, really. Excellent. On average, there's 120,000 weddings a year only in Las Vegas. Minions will count for five or ten weddings a week. They're a major part of our business now. Our upcoming wedding, we have our friends from Texas. In the casino, the Texan bachelor party is in full swing. Groom-to-be Clayton has come to the perfect place to max out his final night as a single guy. I'm getting married tomorrow. Don't know what time exactly, but it's going, it's happening. I'm here with uh, my buddy Ryan, my buddy Will. Me and Will are both pretty wild. Just we can party. But Will always finds a way to take over the night. Hey, uh... He always finds a way to be that guy. Which sounds kind of bad, because I'm the bachelor, I'm supposed to be that guy. But since it's Clayton's bachelor party, Will finds a way to help Clayton be that guy. Are you getting married? Yes, I am. My wife is on this. Well, fiance is on the other side. Are you sure you want to get married? Wow! <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Yes, for sure. Are you really going to do that? That just happened. There you go. Here I love you go. it. Good night. With a best man like Will. That just happened. Yeah, it did. Clayton hey, will be yeah. lucky to get Seriously. to his wedding at all. <laughs> Tomorrow, Clayton's getting married, but tonight, he and his bachelor buddies are sampling the casino bars and beauties, and he's picked the perfect best man to get him in trouble. Hi, Will, nice to meet you. He's a bachelor, but he's the one getting hit. I'm getting hit. Cheers. Cheers. Congrats. Ladies of the evening sort of prey on the single guy sitting at the bar, which isn't a good thing because they'll take him for a ride before he even gets married. Yeah, can I get a security officer over to the uh, over to the main bar? I think we have some ladies of the evening intermingling with our bachelor party going on. So you want to get over here and check them out for me. Thank you. And sometimes a group of guys will come up to me and want to know where they can find um, ladies of the evening. We try to be a full service hotel, but that's one service that we cannot provide. But the service they can provide is now underway as security saves the bachelor party from spending the day of the wedding in jail. So I recognize the female with the tan dress. She's in our subject file for soliciting for sex. I noticed that they both latched on to the men over there, and uh, that's when we did the ID check. I didn't do She asked for my ID and I gave it to her. So do you know why she took my ID? No, no, you took it and wrote it down. It's a random ID check to check my um, my age. So why did you take my ID and write my name down? I'll explain it later. No, explain it now because that's that's the law. Don't you have to explain it now? Isn't that the law? You don't you don't just take somebody ID and write it down. I knew that one in the blue dress was gonna be mouthy. We don't want your business no more. What about what business? You don't want me drinking here because I'm black. Want you here that we're racist. You know, we could be the same race as them, and we're still racist. It is ridiculous. They call us names, friend of cops. We've heard far worse than that. So why would I come here to work? Look at that piece of <laughs> I'm not even here. walks to you like they're the best friend, then you find out they're getting escorted out by cops because they're hookers. <laughs> While the bachelor party continues, Jana heads off on her own adventure, poker training. I'm super late. Never dealt poker before, but we'll see how it goes. No pressure, but the tournament starts tomorrow. Spread your deck for me, please. It's a standard 52-card playing deck, four suits, ace through king. I've heard that Jenna is a fantastic pit dealer, including blackjack and dice. Um, however, has never dealt poker before, so I'm very skeptical because it is quite a bit different. Okay, now shuffle, shuffle, box, shuffle. Pick up your deck, put it in your offhand. Now see what we have here is we have a blackjack grip. We're gonna need to fix that. The blackjack grip, they cover up the front of the deck. In poker, you could grab more of the meat of the deck, more towards the back. It'll ease your ways to pitch. Okay. Oh, hold on, hold on. Flop three cards. Keep your muck pile over on your right hand side. The top of the deck has to stay parallel to the table. Jana has a lot of new procedures to take in. Burn? No? Yeah. Burn? And it's a bit overwhelming. 
One, two, three. Exchange my change for my chip. Where is the action right now? Overall, I just kind of felt, oh my God, we've got some more work to do with this situation. I was overwhelmed with the training, but I, I get the gist of it. <laughs> One other thing that I do want to stress, it's very important in tournament poker that you have a clear head, okay? Tomorrow. Oh, Lordy. And not I'm drinking about that. before a deal poker. Are we going to do uh, a special yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 They're shaking their feathers and their rolls and their cellulites. The showgirls, some of them are just a little too big for that outfit. Not very classy. Hi, girls. Hi, beautiful. What are you doing? How are you doing? So, where are you guys from? <laughs> You're ready to go. Vegas, out. honey. How are you doing? You're from Vegas. So you, what Make ratings? It, come on, pimp this. What what are we pimping? I'm pimping myself, honey. How you You're doing? You're pimping yourself. <laughs> bring it. Come on, bring it. You're you just working this, aren't you? Oh, every time oh, you, you got this. Thank God. Well, how many rolls do you have in there? On the real. No rolls. Yeah. It's like a bakery. I'm pretty. Yeah, it's 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 not wearing feathers, looking like a peacock. I'm not a peacock guy. The peacocks have like white on the end. Peacocks are males. So do you have a? This is Las Vegas. White trash. I'm about to whoop this ass. Let's go. Let's go, Let's go champ. I'll whoop your ass. Oh, Shit. God. Fuck you up, you ugly ass. Grow up. You're, You're working up. downtown as a fake showgirl. Get scared. Get scared. You need to go. No. No. You need to go. I'm a whore. Jan has got herself a six foot two problem. Tomorrow's poker tournament is suddenly the least of her worries. And with her supervisor on the way over, it's about to get a lot worse. I'm a whore. The showgirls that they they work on Fremont Street take pictures with uh, tourists. One of them, she lost her mind. A showgirl doesn't act like that. First because of all, I wouldn't even class. be a showgirl. First of all, a showgirl like, I wouldn't even dress like that alcohol. right now. I'm so embarrassed. The like, like, that's disgusting. A like if I wasn't like 100% in fit. When you're off the clock, you're still representing Binion's. The line is very clear. It's not blurred if you cross the line. We have to act accordingly. Jana came very close to losing her job. Next job. I was scared. I thought I was going to get fired. Let's go to the next part. <laughs> <laughs> no, go. don't pull it. No. Oh! You really my show. show. Here you go, princess. Don't walk on it again. Apparently they're here, yes. It's bad luck to see the bride before the wedding, but these boys have been pushing their luck all night, so why not join up with bride to be Jenna and her posse? I'm getting in the hot tub! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go through my legs. What the f yeah, is going on? You better be there tomorrow to marry. I'll be there tomorrow to marry you, I promise. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Thousands of players have descended on Binion's for the Poker Classic, all competing for millions of dollars. I love this game. <laughs> we're starting a new thing this year where we're using our cowgirl down in the uh, poker room. Bit of a risk, but uh, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I'm hurting a little bit. I, uh, I went out last night, so uh, paying the price today. This is it. All right, Robert, last hand, please. We're going to give the lovely Jana a try here, gentlemen. Jana takes a deep breath. Can she handle the pressure? Jana, bananas in the house. <laughs> Meanwhile, up on Binion's roof, the bride and groom never had any doubt who they wanted to unite them in 
wedded bliss. You want me to, you want me to do that? Make, make it stop, honey, make it stop. We were kind of going for something like, you know, not normal, so we got our money's worth for sure. She's waiting for our beautiful bride. She can take all the time she wants. I think I'm nervous again, I'm alive. When our beautiful bride comes in, please stand as a gesture of respect. Friends and family, I think I see somebody really beautiful back there. What do you say? Let her hear it. Let her hear it. You're here. All their loved ones are here, except the best man. Where's Will? Under a rock? Under a pillow in the bridal suite? Housekeeping. Oh my God. Oh, we got the lambs on the door. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. It's too much trash. To turn this into a honeymoon suite is going to take a miracle. Girl, this is not right, Lori. New Year's Eve, Super Bowl, President's Day, celebration all in one. They did everything but the kitchen sink up in there. <laughs> you got a call. Look at this. I got to call somebody. I can't get in there. Is this the one that nasty tell people? Ew. And we're here to celebrate a lifelong promise. Can I get a uh-huh? <laughs> I just want to say, really, a happy, happy marriage. I want you both to love, trust, cherish one another, take care of one another, be good to one another, and for always, smile and laugh. That? that is part of the secret. Cheers. Obviously, I was late. We, we got a little too tank last night. Uh, a little too many, little too many uh, shots. Uh, tequila. Yeah. I pronounce you both not only husband and wife, but best friends. How about giving them a standing ovation? Go ahead, give it to them. They deserve it. Go well, have a happy life together. Thank you very much. Yeah. Did I miss the wedding? I woke, I woke up too late. It's all right. Playing dinner for life. We should do this more. Oh, great time in Vegas. Vegas, baby. We're in Vegas right now. And you're married. I know. What the f So the happy couple and Will made it through the wedding and they toast a brand new chapter in their lives and work on getting some brand new hangovers. We have dinner coming right now, the chef's all over it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Busy with the liquid portion of his dinner, Will ordered his steak after everyone else. And now, he's not too thrilled that they're eating, and he's not. Yes, sir. What's going on, man? Well, uh, we're going to cook your dinner if you can hang on for just a minute. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? Well, it's uh, four minutes aside, right? I mean, listen, you want it cooked all the way? Or you just got to work? Me, me and four minutes aside, I'm from Texas. Sit down whoa, whoa, whoa. get your dinner up for okay, you. Okay, uh, uh, don't be touching. Seriously. Sorry, Chef. I didn't see him come through here. Yeah? We'll take care of it. With the wedding, it's mandatory that the, we do find one rambunctious guest. Next time round, will be security. All right, I, 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 thank, thank, thank you. you. Mr. Will's dinner coming up. Chop, chop. There we go for you, sir. Really? Look at the way out. Everybody's got dessert. I'm just not eating my food. No, so what's going on here? OK. Well, here you have to roll with the float, and it will try to keep the customer happy. The Binion's Poker Classic is now in full swing. For both the casino and the players to make money, the games have to keep moving. That's where experienced dealers come in. But it's Jana's first time dealing poker. You gotta give him two, you gotta give him eight. Will you please hurry up? You want a deal, you gotta learn how to deal. Okay, it's serious. You can't mess with their money. They, they get very upset, so I don't wanna make Binion's look bad. There you go, and then... Birthday on the job? Yeah. So where'd they pick you up from? Oh, I work here. Oh, really? What were you doing? I'm a dice dealer. Oh, dice. There's less numbers on those. All right, Andy, good Where are we? Tell the small bond to put it. Good job, good job. Perfect. Oh, how are you doing? Did you get past it? Janice table's a little out of control but that doesn't mean anything goes. Once money's in the pot... Uh, you don't get my money, you don't get my money yet. Only the dealer can touch it. 
Sorry, I'm sorry. I can't be talking to my dealer like that. And you certainly can't be reaching your hands in the pot. You need to treat her with a little bit of respect. I, I will. I, I, I understand. I understand. Maybe in your house you can put your hand in the pot. But in my house, my rules. OK, I understand. I was concerned with the, the reason that I was getting called over to Janet's table. The atmosphere was a little boisterous, and she seemed to be having a little too much fun with the players. And while doing that, she tended to miss some of the action. No, 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 don't take that part. <laughs> OK, so Janet, let's pretend we were playing poker for a second. Janet didn't work out in the poker room. Her personality just doesn't fit the ability of the dealer to run and control the game because poker players in these types of tournaments are far more serious. Opinions Poker Classic is one of uh, the biggest events that we run during the year, and uh, we did pretty well. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the way things turned out. I took a chance with Janet, and I think I see that she's better off being in the dice game. Poker is a very serious game. I don't know how to be serious in a gaming situation. I mean, I could I could see, you know, strip poker, yes. But um, Binion's poker, not so much. He, uh, he pants himself. I showed his genitals and his buttocks. Shuffle. Yeah, there are shirts here. Watching Kim shuffle the cards, Made me want to shoot myself. It's amazing for a young 16-year-old girl. It's amazing, like yeah. What's up, guys? Jeez, it's a little quiet today, huh? The only place we got any activity looks like it's roulette. Why don't we, uh... Why don't we shut this down and uh, get some people out they want to go home? You guys want to go home? Yeah. Okay, cool. Bring up the lid. Go ahead, bring it up. I know it's a bad day when you're standing here with nothing now. to do. <laughs> Things aren't uh, the way they used to be. Binion's is downtown, not on the strip, where gamblers are drawn to Glenn's glitzy competition. I'm tired of losing out to the strip, and it's about time we start pushing back. We really have to figure out a way to get this energy and get this movement down to Binion's, replenish our, our player base. We've got to get fresh blood in there so that the people that can come downtown be telling their friends to come downtown. We've got everything that downtown has to offer. All we got to do is cater to the younger crowd. If we don't go younger, you know, we're not going to survive. Glenn assembles his key senior staff to figure out how to make it happen. We want to try and capture some more of that youth movement. Now, putting the cowgirls up there, young, pretty girls, has worked. Your woman with the hard six. Give it to her. <laughs> we've got our sponsorship of the uh, race cars at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Right. And we've got Haley Logger in one of them. I mean, she's young, young, she's 16 years old. So I was thinking, have her come down and sign a few autographs, take some pictures. I like that idea. Rodan, how are we doing with hiring? Right now, we're just hiring them as they come in. OK, I want you to shift gears a little bit here. I want that movement going through all departments. But they've got to have the personality. They've got to have the outgoing friendliness. Basically, what I'm telling you is I want everybody to get out of the suits. You guys are looking like uh, leftovers from the mafia from when I lived back east. I want a younger look, a more outgoing look, a more friendly look. Got it? Let's get to it. Lisa's idea revs up with 16-year-old racing prodigy Haley Lager behind the wheel of a pink rim Camaro. Okay, so we're going to be out here for like 30 minutes. You're going to be taking some pictures. Somebody wants autographs. I got a pen. You can do that. Talk about the race, all that kind of stuff. OK, okay thanks. It's amazing for a young 16-year-old girl That's like amazing, that. yeah. I mean, they don't realize when she gets out there, she's all business. Yeah, don't, don't let the pink rims fool you. Not only a racing prodigy, Haley's also a member of the Binion's family, where her dad, Tim, is a senior executive. Security officer Scott, Haley's trainer, has been racing his whole life. I respect Haley a lot. I mean, for a girl to get into a race car and race against people like myself it takes a lot of courage. Tonight's race will be a true test of her abilities. Look at this. 
It's not one size fits all, it's perfect. This is the new step we're taking with Minions and the new attitude. And again, you, you, this isn't the last promotion we do. But appreciate it, guys. Thank you. But Thank goes you on and hit the floor. Enjoy yourself. Have a good time. With the now that the staff looks relaxed, a little hipper, and a little more day glow, a new recruitment program can officially start. Hello. Hi. Mark Kim. Hi, Mark. I'm the shift manager on Swing Shift. Even Mark says goodbye to the suit and gets a different look. I needed to bring in my gaming license and okay. badge, and I was told that I'll be on the schedule this week. All right, let's take a walk. Well, we're coming into the main part of the casino now. We have our own uh, cowgirl pit up here. We keep them up front just so everybody can uh, yeah, have right to see them. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I feel a little overwhelmed. I feel like as he's talking to me, I'm distracted by the bing, 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 and the loud noises and the conversations and everything that's going on. I don't know if I really picked up what I was supposed to be. So that would be pit three? This would be 4B, actually. Okay. Nothing goes in order, so you'll see. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that's usually how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> she had a very bubbly personality, she seemed to be very knowledgeable, very friendly and outgoing. It's just what we look for in a dealer. It's hitting me that I'm gonna have to change myself and acclimate into a completely new environment. That's because Kim lives only a 10 minute drive, but a world away from downtown Las Vegas. We are in my home little town here where I live. When people hear about Vegas, they don't think about places like this. I think I'm interested in working in a casino downtown just to sort of step outside of my comfort zone. It's intimidating a little bit, but I don't know, we'll just see how it goes. I think there's a lot more opportunities. There's a lot of different emotions going on in my head right now. They use the term showgirl type makeup. I'm like, I've never been to a Vegas show before, so I have no idea what is going to be good enough for these people. For Kim to get through her probation and get the gig, she'll have to impress the casino supervisors. First up, pit boss Scott and veteran dealer Allegra. They're there to show Kim the ropes and what Binion's is all about, including blackjack. Go ahead and show her how to run down the rack. It's gonna be busy tonight, so you're gonna have to deal this game fairly quickly, okay? All right, so basically you have to uncover the whole card, make sure that there's like nothing wrong with it, then you're gonna flip them over, spread them, and then do the same thing. All right, now our shuffle here, Watching Kim shuffle the cards made me want to shoot myself. You need to be able to go as fast as you can. People sitting at the table don't want to wait for you to shuffle. She wasn't very welcoming. She was sort of rude and standoffish. No. I was doing my best. I was trying my hardest. And it seemed like she wasn't even giving me a chance. Shuffling really isn't that difficult. Take the cards, split them, you shuffle them, put them together. Not hard. Hopefully Kim perfects that shuffle. Otherwise, she'll be shuffling right back to the farm. Kim cannot shuffle if her life depended on it. Who the f has my drink? I do. Some of the challenges and obstacles that we face in bringing the younger crowd into casinos is keeping them focused on just gambling. Big dollar, big dollar, big spend big spend big spend We're looking for seven. That can mean extra work for the security team. Where that? Oh. Do you know what I No, 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 no. Sir, you want to leave, sir? I don't. Do you want to leave? Simple as that. I do not want to leave. Do you want to leave? Put your shirt on. Let's get out of here. Put your shirt on. Put your shirt on. Shirt on, man. There was only one officer there. When I came upon this situation, it, it wasn't good. There was only one officer there, and there were 17 guys there. It could have gotten worse. Juan could have pepper sprayed him. Machines could have got broken. A guest could have got hurt. If somebody grabbed his weapon, he would have felt threatened. They're not polite at all. Mike is being detained for indecent exposure. Why would you do that? What? But his friends aren't going to let that situation go that easily. Why should they be scared of a few security officers? Faster. 
Meanwhile, Kim's getting her own lesson in life. It doesn't have to do with jail, but it's probation time, and money is at stake. Let's wrap up the shop all because we're gonna have people coming in here real quick. That was really intense. It is tough to have somebody over my shoulder, and then also I have the eye in the sky, always like watching exactly what I'm doing, nerve-wracking. Kim's mentor, Allegra, isn't feeling great about her new trainee's performance. Customers are expecting to come in here and have somebody in the table who knows what they're doing, knows how to count the cars, knows how to get them out, and knows how to give the correct change. Haley's nerves are also on edge and off track. If she does well in the race tonight, publicity will increase, and hopefully, so will the customers at Binion's. Race is a dangerous sport. I mean, they have ambulances there for a reason. We did build Haley's car as safe as we possibly can, but it is a high-speed performance car. I'm good at racing because I'm not scared. I still care about getting hurt or crashing my car. If it happens, it happens. Haley may be cocky about tonight's race, but her dad isn't. I'm a nervous wreck. You just don't know what's going to happen. You just wish things are going to go well, but you just don't know. All right, Kim, let's get this thing rolling. I absolutely feel like they threw me into the blackjack game way too early. Keep in mind she's new, so be patient. Now, you gotta get the people to buy in, so always start on this right. side. Okay. Keep your deck up here. That's right. Are you gonna play, sir? Yep. Okay, it's a real game. Where's your, where's your dough, Joe? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, that side of the rack. Start this side. Leave the money there. Okay. Give her her chips first. Okay. Good job. Thank <laughs> you. You're gonna stack it up and then hand it off to her. Okay. okay. Slow down. If you're doing fine, just slow down. No, stop. <laughs> you don't send okay. anything out until oh. I tell you to. Yeah. It's not your money, it's casino's money. The pressure's definitely on when Scott's over my shoulder, telling me this is the, the proper way to do it, and that's not the proper way to do it. All these things that should come so naturally to me, but when he's standing over my shoulder, it's like I forget what I'm doing. Well, you have to be tough, but you have to also be considerate at the same time. This is a business, we're here to make money, you know, but we're also here to have fun. Thanks, Don't talk with this hand. You can talk with this hand, this hand yes. stays here. Okay. Eight. Eight. Oh, sorry. Leave the cards there. Oh, sorry. You gotta okay. stop making mistakes. You gotta take this serious. Okay. 15, what do you have? Let's do this. Oh, I have 20. Who loses? Okay. Alright, pick them up. Start oh. over there. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright, spread your cards. Okay. On a live game, there's not a lot of room for error. So we're dealing with money, it's gotta be right. She either has to have it or she doesn't. And unfortunately, she didn't have it. I got thrown to the wolves. Like, I have it written all over myself that I don't belong here, you know? I don't know. Haley's about to deal with a lot more than any 16-year-old should ever have to. Okay, kiddo. Car's there. You got the rear stagger back in the car. It's all here for you, just like it was last week. All right, let's go get go, baby. Ah, all right, go get them. I'll be on the radio. I'm a little nervous for Haley because I don't realize how fast they're going. So you're standing here. And she's and so tiny. I know. She's so tiny and petite and young. She got her okay. cut out for her. <laughs> be okay. I appreciate that. Okay. <laughs> no, I, you're right. Like I said, it was the right move to put her in a full-size car. Put her in a full-size car. All right, look for the pink rims. Here we go. So Haley's outside and sits the 03 car, Minions Hotel, top of Minions Steakhouse, the sponsored ride of Haley Logger. And we go back to the next row back, row number three on the inside. The race has started now, and I'm trying to get Haley down at the bottom of the racetrack and try to navigate her through uh, the congestion. Stick glue to his back bumper and get you down, and we go. The most nerve-wracking part of the race is the first two laps. That's where things can happen real quickly because the cars are all bunched up. If any mistakes happen, there's going to be a big wreck. Okay, let's scuff in. Call the white car in front of you. I don't even really think of anything but like what I'm gonna do the next second. And if you are thinking about something else, then you're gonna mess up. All right, here we go. That is the 
zero three. Haley Hugger around down to turn number two brings out the caution flag. Young Haley's worst fears have come true. In her Binion-sponsored car, she spun out. I was angry when I spun out. It sucks because it's all on you. Like, you, you're the one who spun out. No one else did. You lose it all, and you have to start over, and it sucks. As a parent, I have no control. I can't do anything to help her. I'm just sitting there watching. This, this thing's a mess, and now we got to figure out how to get her into a safe spot where she can start working towards the front. Well, settle down, settle down. Let, let go on the high side. Let go on the high side and get back in front. It gives us that little extra boost of exposure for Haley and for Binion. So we celebrate that big time. You did good. You survived. Through all that. Oh my god. Ring doorbell. We're just wondering what's happening. Our flasher is still in cuffs. His friends have come to his rescue. But security has a different plan in mind. All right, what, what is the problem? All I want to know is how much is, can we pay bail or something for him? I don't know because I don't know if he's going to jail. Yeah. If I was you, I would go somewhere else, kick back for a little while. Does he have a phone? Is there a way to contact him? No, he doesn't have a phone. All right, All right. We're, we're just we're disappear right, right, right now because we're if leaving. you're making the situation. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. When they fail to rescue their friend, they decide to invoke the spirit of their home country. Mike is being detained for indecent exposure. He uh, depants himself, uh, showed his genitals and his buttocks. Most likely we're gonna press charges and he's gonna go to jail. I just did what I had to do. Mark has a change of heart about his t-shirt. Feels good being out of the t-shirt. Back in a suit, it uh, shows my power and shows my uh, authoritiveness. <laughs> Now, if only figuring out what to do with the newest trainee was so easy. We decided to try her as, as a cocktail waitress, which is another very important area in, in the business. Back in the 50s, Binion's was a trendsetter, the first casino to give away free drinks to customers. The idea swept through Vegas like wildfire. Now, comping drinks is part of every casino's game. This is Kim. We're going to try her out as a uh, cocktail server. Oh, season. okay. And see if we can get her to fit in real good over here. Okay. After we get our orders, we come in here, we get our glasses, we ice them up, just swipe your card, call out your drinks, then we take them back out and serve them. It's and how do we keep keep track of the drinks after you, you call them Ooh. out? You just you actually you learn what you're doing. Being a cocktail waitress wasn't exactly one of the things that I wanted to cross off my list, but <laughs> but. Um, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, I mean, Mark's really been doing a lot for me, and I just don't want to let him down. Cocktails, care for a beer? You want another Bud Light? Okay, Bud Light. What I do is I just write Bud and L for light. Cocktails? It's intimidating to me, interrupting people while they're playing. I almost feel like I'm gonna be bothering them. Jack and, Jack and Coke. Bud, okay. She's nervous because she just really don't know people. She don't know. Everybody's always scared at first. I never really wanted to be a cocktail waitress. Hey, Mark, do you have, do you have a minute? Sure. Yeah, sure. I, I don't think I'm quite cut out for this, Mark. Really? First it was blackjack, and now it's cocktail waitressing. It's very embarrassing. Well, you tell me, what do you feel comfortable doing? What do you think you want to do in, the, in, this, in this business? I don't know. I think that I. I mean, I, I used to play a lot of poker. I mean, my dad's been holding little uh, poker tournaments in Calico Basin for years and years and years. So I know the rules. I know what it takes. Well, we'll, we'll see about getting you set up over there in the poker room, then. Because we're, we're going to try to get you try to get you in somewhere, because if we can't, I hate to let you go, because you have such a nice personality, and you're just what we're looking for in this business. I wish you the best you of so luck much. over Thanks, in poker. Mark. All I, right. I appreciate the opportunity. You got it. I really want this chance. 
I really want to work here and so I just have to prove it to both him and myself that I can do it. At this point, I'm kind of um, leery on whether or not she's going to make it. It's not a hard job. If she doesn't step up, we're going to have to let her go. With Binion's drive for younger customers, Kim is just the kind of employee they're looking for, if she can ever get her nerves under control. We tried her in a, in a blackjack department. That didn't seem to work out for her. We tried her as a waitress, and that didn't seem to work out for her. We don't usually move girls from one department to another department. We're giving her this extra chance because we do see something in her. Kim's chance to deal poker is her last. So these are like professional, do it for a living type players. I could probably throw up right now. Mark McDuff told me you had some poker experience, so we're going to give you a shot. This is our 7 p.m. deep stack tournament. All right, players, if you were here on table 90, go ahead and grab your seats. Play your best, or raises, sorry, raise. Uh, sorry, guys, okay. darn it. <laughs> now what do I do? Call the floor. That top one there, go on top, that's great. Thank you. Thank you. There's just a million things that are going through my head. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to keep up with how much is in the pot, who needs change, and where, and if I didn't have it, who I owe, and trying to pull everything in and get everything out and read the hands as fast as I can. And it's very much more involved than my father's house games used to be. <laughs> Call. Oh, that's three players. <laughs> oh my goodness. Call. Kim finally starts to relax, and the trainee becomes the teacher. So seat open, table number 91. Raise. It's obvious she has a very good grasp of the game. I watched, there were no technical failures, no, no issues I had to address, which is always good. Thanks, guys. All right, Kimmy, right over here. Yeah. All right, everything looks Thank good. You. We're going to go ahead and send you down the line. So cool. go ahead and push on in to table number uh, 91. Thanks. The poker manager is impressed. Turns out, Kim's a good fit. I believe in Kim because she has that, that knack about her. She'll be fine in the business once she just calms down, settles into it. I feel very strongly about it. I'm going to be kept on, and I'm really excited about it. I'm, I think that it'll work out, and I'm grateful. Wish me luck, Canada. Come on, bitches! Let's go, party! When she comes down here, she's, she's wild. Oh, no. oh, no! Keep an eye on her, because she's the best. Did somebody call me? Hi. No. <laughs> Doing? I swear I didn't do it. We thought it would be a good idea to go check out the haunted room 400. Yeah, this is getting creepy already. They say that Ted Binion was murdered by Sandy Murphy. We're gonna get him up to 400. Oh, no, that, that door just opened. Who's checking out on me? Hopefully we can freak him out. <laughs> Bottom line is this, he gets a little arrogant. You give me the cut curtain, I can cut it any way I want. I can hear him now. Ron, one more hand. Y'all are not, y'all are done. Oh, okay. I don't need it. I feel a spider doing oil painting all of a sudden. We had a uh, 50th birthday for Bob. I'm a lady, I am! 50, woo! Where does Barb go to party like it's 1979? Binion Steakhouse, of course. 24 floors up, away from the prying eyes of the casino floor. Barb, you know she's Canadian, becomes the showgirl she's always wanted to be. When she comes down here, she's, she's wild. Come on, bitches, let's go party! When they made Barb, they really broke the mold. I'm not wearing any panties. Oh, excellent, excellent choice. Longtime steakhouse waiter Mario has seen it all. He knows which side his bread is buttered. They're wonderful people, great people, the people you want to be around with, hang out with, you want to party with them. Barbara Long's the one. Keep an eye on her because she's the best. 50 big years. Or I dealt with that years ago. Yeah. Yes, much older husband. Yeah. There's nothing I'd like more than to go skinny dipping on the pool upstairs. And who said Canadians are quiet and polite? Maybe she's just faking it. Mario, would you yes. Just give me a little ham or something in one second, please. 
because she's uh, like a regular, very good customer. We're going to uh, give him a couple of bottles of champagne. Albert thinks he's in charge, but I'm really in charge. After they eat champagne? Yeah, a little, a little for a toast. I'll tell you what, I get the glasses, you get the champagne. How about you do something? Yeah. That'll be a good beginning. I don't have a waiter, I got Mario. You have to just make him think he's in charge, and so he's okay after that. So. Is he around here? Where is he? Mario, she's your best friend in life. I think you should propose a toast as well, my friend. It's always a pleasure when you're here. I love it. It's exciting. I love you. So. I love you too. If you come back later in about an hour, we'll see the rest of the show. Oh dear. I think I just showed my. <laughs> remember you. Remember you. Hey. Are we going swimming? Going swimming? We have you with bow-legged women. Today we're going to have Theo Smith come in, who's a friend of mine. And what we're doing is testing some new dealers, exclusively being some of the cowgirls, on some of the methods that people use to cheat. Even with a thousand prying eyes in the sky and 24-hour security, Triple it. Binion still loses millions each year to cheaters. You guys in Vegas for? Depends on how much money we win or lose. Fresh off the boat. Fresh. Good luck, guys. We figured we would try to test some of the dealers to see what their skill levels are. Cowgirl Veronica has no idea Glenn's friends are undercover cheats. Part of her job is to catch them. If Theo and Nat are successful, it could mean her job. I've been uh, at Binion's for about seven months now. Pretty much, this is my first full-time dealing job. I don't like to uh, put my guard down, and I want to be respected. The guys grab a seat in the top spot for cheating. Divide and conquer. We'll sit on first and third base, which is almost like uh, a baseball field. Once they've turned their, their head to the left or to the right, whether it's at me, first base, or Nat at third base, they've lost total control over what we're doing on that side. Being loud and obnoxious is a common cheating technique to distract the dealer. The distraction is used as a diversionary tactic to confuse the dealer and take her mind off what she should be looking at. Distractions being anything from me throwing him money to him throwing me money or asking the cop to wait just for a drink. Can we get a waitress? Can we get a waitress over here? Can I get a Heineken over here? Veronica's gonna need something stronger than beer if she doesn't catch these guys soon. Shady gamblers and underhanded business deals have always been a part of the buried secrets of Las Vegas. Binion's is no stranger to rumors of mafia activity and even murder. There has been talk about uh, binions and uh, apparitions roaming the hallways. And when you're up on the up on the steakhouse, you can see down to the old binions hotel. And we know that there is nobody in there, but periodically a light will go on in one of the hotel rooms. But hey, anything's possible. All right, Reed, I'm gonna go up to the tower and do a West Tower check. Legend has it that the ghosts of Binion's past haunt room 400 in the old hotel. Right now, the hotel is closed for our remodeling and renovation, so it's, it's a little eerie up here when you're by yourself, especially, you know, later into the shift when the sun goes down. It gets a little, a little hairy at times, you know? I'm not gonna lie. You know, you got 20-something floors to check, you're by yourself, no one's up here or supposed to be up here. Then you hear the stories about this ghost and haunted and what happened here. Barb's 50th is in full swing, but the party girl has gone AWOL. Where's Tanya and Barb? Uh, uh, no. You know, they're off to doing that again. Oh, not again, guys, not again. I don't know which way. Every time Barb comes to Binion, which way? she's a very naughty girl. <laughs> oh, you're scared part of the show. Can I pull back? Pull back. Oh, my god. I seen him getting into the elevator towards the pool and I had to come after him. I got up here, bam, skinny dipping. <laughs> We're closed, fools closed at dusk. Oh no, I can't go in there, oh no, oh no. Oh come on Mario, you know you want to. <laughs> Nothing says Las Vegas. Did somebody call me? Like drinking. 
partying and losing your shirt. I love you. What happens in Vegas? It's supposed to stay in Vegas, but I don't think this one's going to. I love you. I'll make, I'll make. Back on the casino floor, undercover cheaters Theo and Nat are turning up the heat on Cowgirl Veronica. Can we get a waitress? Can we get a waitress over here? Um, she's, she should be coming soon. Theo ups the ante on his distracting ways, keeping Veronica's attention on him so Nat can make his move. Get your hands off there. I already cast you. You just kept your bet. You didn't have that. Nat just added 200 bucks to his bet right under Veronica's nose. Did you just cap that? Yeah. Capping is really just putting more money on. It's like you have a bet of $10. By the time the dealer looks at everything, we may have started with 10, now we got 25. We never do that. Cheaters will cap their chips when the cards turn to their advantage. Let's go. Let's go, girl. Oh my gosh. Come on. Give me a card. If I have a bad hand because we put the cards up, he's going to distract her because I may take cards out of the shoe and try to create my own hand. I may try to make myself have a 20. 14, all right, good job. All right, man, that's how you do that. Very nice. Being an expert cheat, Theo is obviously saving that card for later. No matter the time of day, Binion's cowgirls, Jenna and Roxy, have one thing on their minds. It's always happy hours somewhere in the world. Soda? Across the street at Minion. Yeah, I'm a dealer of blackjack and I see both actually. Yeah. So tell me, what's up with this Minion's being haunted? I have no idea about it. It's haunted. Oh, the bartender at the pool, which she's awesome. I just met her. Her name's Allie. She's the one who asked about the haunted room at Binion's, room 400. They say that Ted Binion was murdered by Sandy Murphy, but I believe it's true. Sandy Murphy was Ted Binion's girlfriend. Sandy and her secret lover allegedly murdered Ted to steal his riches. So we thought it would be a good idea to go check out the haunted room 400. <laughs> You're gonna go to the haunted room with us? Yeah, I'll go. Cheers. 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 Boldly going where a lot of men have gone before, Theo and Nat managed to pull the wool over Veronica's eyes while keeping their identity a secret. You tapped the table. Did I? Turns out she's not all that wet behind the ears. She's reached the end of the line. Excuse me, sir, you can't, you can't put your hands there, okay? If you do it again, I'm not called for. This is my area. Once your bet is there, this it's area set. is my area. This me. money here is mine. You have to actually make the casino employees think that they did something wrong, and you have to be confident in what you did, and make that dealer and that supervisor think, well, maybe I was wrong. Excuse me. The undercover cheats have pushed their luck, so Veronica calls for heavy artillery. Her supervisor or floor. New card over here. All right. I'm she trying broke. to pay she and broke. they're double teaming. Are you sure, Veronica? She broke. Okay, okay, She's okay. being very rude. I think you're I just to... Theo seizes the perfect opportunity to make blackjack. He, 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 he didn't have a blackjack. Wait a minute, done. <laughs> you're not gonna pay me? I win here. I got a blackjack here. <laughs> you're done. I'm gonna play this place again. I'm out. By the way, here's your cards back. So who knows how much money our undercover cheats really walked away with. <laughs> if the team is good and they come in, it's quick. It's three, four, five, six hands, win a couple hundred thousand, they're gone. <laughs> this cowgirl has lost some money. Look, look. Where the f have you been? Catching cheats is all in the day's work for Binion's cowgirls, but catching sight of a ghost is a little trickier. Jenna and some of her cow girlfriends are gonna come in here. Um, they wanna take a walk up to room 400. I guess they've heard some of the ghost stories, so. I'm scared. I'm scared. Will you hold my hand? Yes. We can get them up to 400. I'm gonna pop the door, and when they get in there, hopefully we can freak them out. And scared girls love big teddy bears. Go get them, Yogi. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. 
Jana uh, has a tendency of coming on property when she's off, um, kind of stretching my staff a little thin when she uh, has some, some drinks in her and some little altercations here and there. Phil and I decided that we're going to get a little bit of payback on them, and that's how we set up the uh, East Hotel Room. The girls have all the essentials for ghost busting. High heels, designer jeans, short shorts. First the ghost, then the club. Scared. Look, like there's shadows. Woo! So when you go upstairs. 400. Oh, Wait, what is this? What I did... swear I didn't do it. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Just making my rounds. I heard all the noise. We want to go see the haunted room. He's posted up, ready to go. Can, you know, room 400, can we go see it? Well, we can take a walk. I'm going to go with you guys. Will you protect? Do you have your gun on you? I got my gun, but. Is that really a gun in your pocket, Harris? Can you, you know, tell us the exact story behind it? Ted, that, that used to be a Binion's family room. That was Ted Binion's room? Mainly for Teddy Binion, yes. Um, it was like his getaway from the casino. He'd go up there and entertain his guests and do what he did up there. It's kind of like naughty, naughty. Sweet. Of course, Roxy. This is Vegas, after all. Oh my god, that door just opened. They moved. As manager on duty, Ron doesn't have the time nor the luxury to scare the crap out of cowgirls. All right. It's just another Saturday night, another day in paradise. He's got a more serious matter to attend to. There's a gentleman on five over there that I think, well, we had a little incident with him a couple of weeks ago, and I think he's playing, I think that's the same guy. He's a uh, card counter, not doing anything wrong, not doing anything illegal, not, not cheating in any way or something, but he's one of those uh, advantage players. A card counter is uh, an individual that will track of the big cards versus little cards, manipulate his bets towards that, and it gives him a big advantage. Just like Rain Man, but without the snappy suit or Tom Cruise. Once an advantage player, once we see what he's doing or something, as long as they abide by the rules, we're fine. But the bottom line is this, you know, he gets he gets a little arrogant. And as long as he doesn't upset anybody, I'm all right. But I can, I can hear him now. What do you mean? I can't cut it like that? You give me the cut card, I can cut it any way I want. That's right. It is the same guy, isn't it? I see. See, let me do my shenanigans. Ron has to act fast if the player's shenanigans aren't put in check. Customers around him are going to get turned off and leave. New deck shuffled is Ron's clue to get up close and personal. Now we're not getting a full deck. That's we have got a, what, what else do we have? We had a full deck since I got it. That's a, did you see that? Did you see my, how much money I had, Ron? I've been trying to get a full deck out of this girl, and I can't get uh, like five hands out of her. I'm getting two hands, three hands, whenever it's going well, and then we're getting six hands when it's going the other way. Short decking is a term used uh, years ago. This advantage player feels that the house is the advantage. He doesn't think that they're letting him see enough cards in each deck. Time to shuffle up or shuffle out. Boom. Chotskis. Boom Chotskis. Ayo. Boom Chotskis. Sounds like it's not just a table that's a few cards short of a full deck. Like I said, I remember you. Maybe two or three weeks ago. I know you remember me. You know, the bottom line is, like I said, you know, we want you to play, we want your action, we don't mind it at all. You know, you got to uh, mind your piece. But, you but you know I'm not doing anything wrong. You no, know, I, everything yeah. we're doing is, is legit, and I, I just want to be able to see a full deck. That's all. Excuse me. Excuse me is right. Is Accusing the house of funny business is a serious offense. Do you go check that room a lot? No, it's the ghost. Uh, we, it's we the ghost. Reach. Security Lieutenant Harris has been hatching a plan for Jana and her friends. Uh, Come on, it's all right. Yeah. Just take okay. your time. Just check it out on me. Okay. Okay. You want me to go? Yeah, I got flashlights, but I mean, there's light up here. We I keep. My cell phone. It's minimal here. Hey, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Jana, Jana. All right. All right, I got you. I got you. I got paper One more flight. <laughs> Just bury your face in my. <laughs> Oh my God, that door just opened. It moved. It was open. It moved. No, it moved. Oh, there's a Are you door. sure, Roxy? Because you're not wearing your glasses. <laughs> Be careful, Jana. With all of this racket, you guys really will raise the dead. No, you don't need that. So I'm going to get you guys in here, but kind of explore it, look around. You got a little bathroom up here to your left. Yeah, just in case they get scared. Come on in. I'm here. Come on, Roxy. I went 
into the room. I was the first to go, and there was a body. I saw a foot, and I freaked out. Oh. Oh, my God. As soon as they got in, uh, all hell broke loose of them screaming, uh, shouting, running around. I mean, they bolted for the door. We had a, a person in there just kind of playing dead on the floor. They saw that, freaked out, and, and that's what they got. No idea I was gonna get punked. To see a body, oh, it scared the shit out of me. I'm not gonna lie, it got me good. Security got me good. <laughs> you guys wanted ghosts, you wanted uh, thrills, you guys got it all. At the start of Veronica's second shift, Glenn feels the need to come clean about the undercover cheater she dealt with at the blackjack table. Everything's awesome. I just wanted to uh, give you a little heads up about what happened. We had a couple of guys that were in, and they were kind of giving you a hard time. They were uh, capping their bets and things like that. Well, they were two two friends of mine, Theo and, and that. Bought everything, Thank you. everything did well. I just wanted to let you know that. And, yeah, and I had them set. I had in. a feeling. Did you? I did a little bit. Yeah. I was like, nothing, nothing like that has ever happened to me before. You did an excellent job. Okay? Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Keep up the good work, especially with the customer service. Okay? Of course. Yeah, yeah, chef. No, no chef. way. We do that anytime you got to. On the other side of the casino, Ron, the manager on duty, has his sights set on the advantage player who's accusing the house of not dealing with a full deck. You all right? I want you to be all right here, man. If I get a full deck, I don't know. I want you to be all right. You're getting a full deck. Oh, come on, man. Right? I'm going to ask you one more time just to kind of hold it down. I'm just telling get, you, that was a full deck. Lower your voice. Lower your voice. I'm telling you, that wasn't a full deck. It's a full deck. You know, anybody that was sitting around him could hurt him because he was very loud. There's no way that was a full deck. Excuse me? Like, I don't, I don't, you know, there's no way. As long as he settles down, I don't mind. You know, he can play, but he's not going to ruin everybody's time, and he's not going to be over the dealer either, I'll guarantee you that. It ain't going to happen out here. Chotskis. Boom, Chotskis. Hey, oh. Uh, one more. We got one more. One more hand. One more hand. Ron, one more hand. You know what we did? There. The count was good. She started shuffling to protect the house, to jip the player. No, 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 no. Again, he was, he was upset. Winning or losing, uh, he accused us of doing some things with the deck that we do not do. We do not. We don't break the deck, and we don't. Well, we don't shortcut the deck. This is half deck blackjack. Half deck blackjack. Is that that's what enough. It is? That's is enough. That? That's enough. Put him back in. That's enough. Y'all are done. Y'all are done. Y'all are, are done. Oh, that's so it. I'm out of here. That's yes, sir. Yeah. That's it. No, I, like I said. You know okay, that's it. I mean, I don't need this. Get out. Let's get out of here. I don't need this. Bottom line, he was accusing us of a lot of things, and I didn't want it to go all out on the public and people were listening to him that you know that we did anything like that. And that's the reason I shut him down. No way that you can toss me out of a casino. I, I understand you're trying to take the, the public, like, oh, everything's okay, and, and, and they told the company line. The truth of the matter is, you're short in the deck. No, That's no, the thing. No. It's house protection. I'm doing nothing wrong by counting. The bottom line so, is that we cut the cards, we do that, we give you a fair so shake. Hard. I just can't even hear it, Ron, honestly. Like, I, I don't need it. Like, I need, like, another, another hole in the head. Like, I, I really do. Like, I, I just, I don't even need it. I don't even need it. I don't need it. It's supposed to be fair, right? It's supposed to be fair. Have a nice day. Have a nice day, guys. Ah! And he, he can count cards all he wants to, but we're there to protect the integrity of the game. We pay attention to the advantage players. Uh, at the end of the night, they, it can cost the uh, casino quite a bit of money, and that's, uh, that just goes directly to the bottom line. Bottom line, the dude's night at Binion is done. You know, sometimes we just have people like that. We are not going to do this. The whole thing is just out of line. I have never seen that woman upset. Never. Let's make a bet. If I have more than 100 at the end of the five minutes, take off your boots and show us your feet. Um, when they give me a challenge, it's fun to play with them back and throw it right back on them because that's what they're looking for. You are a mother Now it's time to go into cop mode. Go now or I'm going to arrest you. For the cowgirls, dealing with a potent mix of alcohol and testosterone is all part of the job. Being a Binion's cowgirl, you have to have the personality to be able to keep people at your table. And you have to have the top exterior because you do get the players that, that will push your buttons. A lot of the cowgirls will allow it to affect them on the game. I'm, I'm one of these top exterior people and I don't, you know, they can, they can get away with a lot of my table. 
Let's make a bet. Okay, let's make a bet. Side bet, right here. Ready? All right, I'm going to play for five minutes. Okay. If I have more than 100 at the end of the five minutes, you give me your number. <laughs> and if I have less than 100 at the end of the five minutes, I give you my number. Okay, that, that's a good deal. Is that fair deal? Yeah. Jessica's already got this guy's number, but those are pretty good odds for Vegas. We want him to roll for me. One hand, don't ever put your hand down your pants with the dice in it. Never ever. That seems like good advice, no matter what the game. Nine, center field nine, point is nine. If you don't roll a nine right now, Jessica is going to stop talking to us. Maybe She's not going to stop talking. She gets paid to talk, but she doesn't have to like it. Yeah. Jessica, do you have a boyfriend? No. Right, easy, hey. All right, Jessica, if he rolls a nine right now, will you take off your boots and show us your feet? Do you have a foot fetish? While Jessica considers her new pal's side bet, in another part of the casino, security has stopped someone who's acting suspiciously. What's your last name? Spell last name. Spell. He was standing there, not playing, not drinking, raises our flags. What's your name? Soto Mayor. Soto, Soto. Mayor. Do you have a player's card? No ID? No, I miss you. OK, because you don't have your ID, you can't be in the building. OK? Well, the security, you go to the casino, you need an ID. If you don't got ID, so you don't throw away no. all garbage. You don't need ID, but acting shady will get you carded. And once I started talking to Juan, I kind of realized that I was dealing with somebody familiar to the company. Um, he resembled someone I just got a flyer on for being involved in a purse theft across the street at our sister property. Where's your ID at, Juan? Yeah. Well, maybe. Yeah, where'd it go? I see. You somebody? I fell asleep and I got pickpocketed. I've heard that thing a million times. While Scott keeps his eyes on Juan, Harris acts on a hunch and heads off to check the casino's database started checking our system for him to see if I had any possible hits on that name. No hits came up. The gentleman wears the same hat, the same jacket, and has just the same clothes on every day. So I remember that, ran that back, looked through all our files, and I got a hit on him. And that provided me his real name. Uh, Charlie One Units at the F1 door. Go ahead and stand by with that subject. I've got some uh, paperwork here that IDs him at somebody else. I'll be up there momentarily. Over at the Million Dollar Display, the customers are in a much better mood. All right, on the count of three. Egged on by Norman, the outgoing photographer. This might be their best chance to see $1 million. I like taking people's pictures. I like capturing the happiness in them. Who couldn't be happy setting in front of a million bucks? Hi, you guys gonna take a photo? Yeah. All right. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna look at the camera right up there, OK? All right, you can touch the money. You can hug the money on the count of three. One. Two, three. Next in line. General Manager Tim has heard about the great job Norman is doing. One, two, three. And wants him to help with his plan to promote the casino staff. I've got this photography idea where I want to try to capture some of the exciting people that we have in the property and take that and use it to market the property. Here you guys can touch the money, you can hug the money. Oh. Just don't try to take it, because, you know, there's cameras everywhere. Work. It's the people that make the difference. And that's the, our number one asset we have to this property. Are you of age? You look about 19. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and stand behind that money for me. I'm Tim. Tim. I'm the general manager. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'll tell you, Norman, I've been watching you over there. It's awesome how you act with these people and get the, the, the pictures out of them. I've got this project where I want to take some pictures of some of our key people, but I think somebody with your personality, you can get people to do things that other people can't, and that's what I'm looking for. So what exactly would I be doing? Well, I'm definitely freaking out. I mean, imagine having the general manager of your company telling you um, you've been there for two weeks and I want you to do something, so it's definitely kind of got me outside myself. All it is is I'm going to get you a really good camera, what I want you to do is go around the floor and find the people that you find are really interesting and get me some good quality action shots that we can use for some advertising. OK. Think you can handle that? I'm a little nervous, but I think I can do it. Be yourself. I can definitely do that. Nice to meet you, Norman. <laughs> you too. Thanks I'll get a lot. everything ready and get back to you, OK? OK, sounds good. Thanks. Thank you. You know, I think Norman's going to do a great job at it. He's going to get us what we want. 
I hope that he doesn't expect me to be this professional photographer, because that's definitely not me at all. Newly minted photographer Norman is on the prowl, hunting for his first victim. I wonder if these guys will let us take a picture. Can I take a couple photos of you? Me? Yeah. OK. OK, cool. Thanks. Norman can't resist a man in uniform. What I'm doing is I'm taking pictures that are going to be used for promotional posters for the casino. I'm pretty nervous, especially since this is something that I've never done before. This thing is not turning on. Need help? Hey, there we go. Awesome. That has a lot of variety to it. Okay, what do you think of that one? I don't know. Not a great start. But Norman has his sights on a bigger prize. Or is that a smaller prize? Back at the craps table, cowgirl Jessica's been offered a side bet. All right, Jessica, if he rolls a nine right now, will you take off your boots and show us your feet? Even for an experienced cowgirl like Jessica. Do you have a foot fetish? This is one very strange request. I mean, we've heard it all as far as boobs and everything else. But what he doesn't know is I'm like the anti-foot person. Like, I have a foot fetish against my feet. Yeah, no, no, no. She knows you're going to roll a nine. <laughs> Looks like Jessica and her feet are safe for now. If he doesn't roll a nine right now, you have to put on the cowboy hat and you have to do a little dance for us. Got it? When they give me a challenge, it's fun to play with them back and throw it right back on them because that's what they're looking for. You know, they're looking for something that's going to toy with them just as much as they toy with us. Now, the shoe is on the other foot. He does roll the nine, so Jessica loses her side bet. But he is leaving with over $100, so her phone number is his. All right, so now what? We're done. We're this going? is how you win in Vegas. You owe me your phone number. I do. And I want to color these up, and I'm going to walk away a winner. Yes, sir. It would have been better to see your feet. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. If he would have come off a little bit stronger, it might have bothered me. But people like him absolutely make my night so much better and so much more fun. Over at the photo shoot, Norman is experiencing a tiny bit of resistance. All four foot eight inches of it. Excuse me, may I take your photo, please? Not now, I'm too busy. Behind you, ladies. Been working here for 24 years. It's been a great hotel to work for. It'll just take you. one moment. I can do it right now, just really quick. Yeah. But what if I try to catch you while you're working? Somebody that's been in the property for a long time. She moves around that floor quick as can be. She's never stopping. I'm four foot eight. But I look five foot with my hair and shoes. Big hair, big shoes. I <laughs> do everything I can to look tall. Excuse me. Excuse me. Would you mind if I take a couple of photos of you? I want to take her photos so I can do a really good job and impress my boss. I know she has the exact look that we're looking for. I know you're busy. You're well, not going to take my photos. Um, Excuse me. Thank you very much, huh? These two are just simply not seeing eye to eye. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to capture the essence and the life of working here and the people that work here. You are just so amazing. Every time I see you, you're just so energetic. I'm responding to the fact that she seems like such a bubbly person, bigger than life. If you would just give me two shots, I promise you, I'll even make sure you have copies of them. You will love them. I'm sure that I would, but I can't have you taking me photos of me while I'm working. How about when are you going to break? Oh, no. My break time is my break time. It's very frustrating that she's not letting me take her photo. I don't think you understand how important this is. Well, you... I realize it's important to you, but it isn't important to me. But no. I'm on my knees. I'm on my no. knees. No. No I'm photo. I'm no photo. It's not a good idea. No, thank you. I don't get annoyed easily. No. It's just the end. No's no, and that's just all there is to it. This project might be too much of a gamble, even for Vegas. It's very important. 
for being in the casino that we take other customers. And you can't do that if you're being distracted by someone wanting you to constantly stop, take your picture, and all that. Yep, that's all I got. She gave me backside hair, refusing to turn around. It's a shame. It would have come out really nice. It's not the time or the place to be doing that. There's really nothing here that I can even work with. Norman's feeling a little edgy. Tim's looking for a status report on a staff photo shoot. All right, so. Show me what you got. Miss Priscilla. Um, she was really hesitant. She gave me the runaround all around the casino. I did get some really good shots of, the, of her hair and the back of her head. She was really not having it, not at all. You know, sad to say that you couldn't get a really good shot on Priscilla. I mean, that's a little disappointing. We gotta have that energy, that's what we wanna do. So what are you gonna try to do, go back and try to get a few more shots? I, I can certainly try. Tim's increasing the pressure on Norman to improve his shots. This experience definitely makes me think twice next time I pick up a camera. I'm extremely nervous. Even after the rough start, Binion's general manager, Tim, is betting Norman can become a better photographer. It's a gamble, it's Vegas. Can I take your picture? Let's see some of that personality come out. Norman's attracting attention now. This cowgirl hasn't met a lens she doesn't like. What are you doing? Just taking pictures of some of the people here that work here. I just work here. I love pictures. Do you? Yes, I used to be a model. So, really? Yeah, well, you know. Cool. I, think yeah. I can take some a few, few photos if you'd like. Oh, well. Finally, someone who's really into it. I wanted to do the photos because I worked at Binion's for a long time and I just figured, you know, why not? You know, I'd be perfect. <laughs> One, two, three. This is looking eyes. good. Wow, you can definitely tell you're a model. But maybe a little too centerfold like for a publicity on. poster. Love it. It was fun to, you know, take pictures again and be a part of something that, you know, represents the place that I work for. I feel like I found some awesome people to take photos of, but I'm also gonna keep working on trying to find some more to give it a real complete package. I'm always humming a song when I'm around the casino. A lot of people who knows me, they can tell you I'm crazy. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. I'm Carlos Mann, I'm a pit boss. I think the reason I like to sing to women is because, number one, I like women. Yeah, but is this feeling mutual? Sing to a woman and you see how they feel. They love music. You kill me, you drive me crazy. <laughs> It doesn't take Norman long to zero in on Carlos and his dulcet tones. Hello. Hi. I'm Norman. Can I get a couple of photos of you? Yeah. Even if you keep singing. Go ahead. I connected the most with Carlos. He wanted to be a part of it. Finally, this is much more like it. A shiny, happy employee. But will everyone be happy with the results? Uh, Charlie One units at the F1 door. Go ahead and stand by with that subject. Back at the security desk, Lieutenant Harris has dug up some information on a strange man found loitering in the casino. Tell me that's not him. He gave me the name of Juan Sotomayor, but it's a hat that gives him away. Well, apparently, Mr. Juan Sotomoto is actually Mr. Juan Rodriguez, who's a prior shoplifter. Now it's time to go into cop mode. How are you lying to me? No, I'm not Rodriguez. No, Sotomayor. you're Rodriguez. Why are you lying to me? I'm not lying to you, nothing. Why are you lying to me? We got you for shoplifting. Once you cross that line, you lied to me, and now I know you're a dishonest person. This is a street. Uh, you need to go in, do not come back. We don't need you in here, we don't want you in here. So now it's time to go. Security up the F1 door, I want this uh, 408 HMA removed from my door front, please. Juan knows that Binion security has no jurisdiction outside the casino premises. Come on, two more feet. Go now or someone arrest you. Don't engage them, just wait till FSC gets out here and tell them I want to move off the door front. As long as they're out the door and moving up the street, we win, they lose. And Juan is definitely one sore loser. You are, you are a mother You're not, you're not welcome.
with the shoot over. Norman shows Tim his best shots. I got some good ones of some of the security personnel. OK. Also got one of the cowgirls over there. Oh, that, that's good. So what else you got? I had some really good shots with Carlos. Oh, boy. I like that. That's welcoming. Mm -hmm. He's got his arms out like that and that smile on his face. He's a character. He was singing and everything. Carlos, uh, the way his body language was, it just said, welcome. And that's what I was looking for. That's what's going to send people, you know, get a reaction. We want right. them to say, hey, this is a fun place. These are fun people. I think he did a phenomenal job with him. Can you email me those shots? Um, and what I'll do is I'll pass them on to marketing. Okay. We'll get something made up, and we'll look at it, and we'll uh, we'll see how it turns out. All right. Thanks, Norman. Thanks Have a, a good lot. day. You too. Norman really did a great job. I mean, for him to get out on the floor, try to get those people to react for him like he did. You know, Priscilla, she kind of made him work for his money on the deal. And some people like pictures taken, some people don't. And obviously, that's not something she enjoys as much as Carlos does, obviously. Winning with the ladies isn't going to be the only thing on Carlos's mind. Wait a minute. Women are the only things on his mind. Maybe the winning picture in Tim's poster promotion can tear him away for a minute. Look this. Oh, oh, I never seen that in my life before. Come and play blackjack with Carlos, the singing pit boss. Looks great. I like it. Cross this out up here. Yeah. Mustache to goatee. Let's get sure, a goatee sure. going here. And a mustache across here. You're just, be all right. You're just jealous. You're That's all. Be all right. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's something. Where's Priscilla? I saw her passing by. Priscilla, look at the wall. <laughs> Very good. You're popular. Yeah. Look how lucky you are. Unable to make up his mind, Tim decides to use not one, but one and a half employees for the poster campaign. That is her hair. Can you believe they had a poster made? <laughs> doesn't look good. Why would I want something in the back of my head? I'm just aggravated. Jackie, don't be putting these posters up. That's OK. Don't put them up. Oh, but it's so cool. No, it's not. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. We are not going to do this. OK, this is terrible, terrible, terrible. I feel like I'm being disrespected. I don't think it looks good. And no woman wants a picture taken of her hair to begin with. It, the whole thing is just out of line. I don't understand why they would put such a nice picture of you up there and put such a lousy Not one of me. It can't be that ugly. So I, I took them all down. I ripped them off the wall. I don't want them seen. They're horrible. I don't even know why they would put such a thing well, up. you know what? Let me give you my opinion about it. Bring me one. No. Work out. Carlos feels that he has a way with women. Can his charms work on a very upset Priscilla? Is that but ugly or what? Wait a minute. It's ugly. Don't, don't, uh, let me, let oh. me look at it. Don't say anything. OK. I won't say a word. This is real. And that is a great idea. Honestly, it's a great idea. Be what upset. is wrong with it? You wouldn't even know it's me. Yes, everybody knows your hair oh, in this no. in the whole town. No. Everybody knows her hair. Everybody knows who she is. The moment they see that picture, they know it's going to be Priscilla. There's no question about it. What do you think they're going to think? They're going to think somebody's having a very bad hair day. No, it's not a bad hair day. It's a nice hair day. 25 years, I think, I know Priscilla. I have never seen that woman upset. Never. She's always happy. And that's one of the things that I admire of her. I want a copy of it for you. You have to sign it, though. Oh, Do you think I see? You know, I think the, the pictures of Carlos and Priscilla were excellent representations of the property. And it just shows you something. When you see those people and you need to interact with them, you know why they, they represent this property so well. This is your signature. Honestly, honey, yeah. I wouldn't be lying to you. It looks great. It looks very nice. <laughs> Don't Thank hide you. it. It's beautiful. <laughs> he doesn't seem to think it's so awfully bad. 
then as I understood it all a little better, it was explained to me a little more, you know, what they were trying to do, then I wasn't so upset about it. You know, I felt comfortable with it then. We were looking for some additional Binion's cowgirls. It's not easy. I like the atmosphere of downtown. You always have a stutter. It's a dog eat dog world. You either fit in or you go. You can I'm standing right there. You, you can walk, walk up. Right? We could have taken it outside, but no, she had to call security and handcuff like us. Let's see. Be comfortable in an outfit like this. The outfits. Oh my. That's battery. You know that? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You shut up. Meet Dorothy Justino. Whether it's prostitutes, I watch your business, my boy. Hey. drunks, or troublemakers, she's made hundreds of arrests in her four years at Binion's. Don't see me. I'm 5'3. I'm a little, you know, overweight. I have sparkles on my face. I hardly get any respect. Today, she's going undercover for the first time. Wendy Harris told me, I'm like, oh, yes, cool, awesome. I've always wanted to be undercover. I'm just really excited. <laughs> I'm really excited. In street clothes, she'll mingle with the crowds and observe the action. Can I see your ID, please? Oh, you have to be 21 to be in the casino. The reason I selected Dorothy is how she works. We just don't put anybody into that type of position. You know, you've got to prove yourself, and that's one of the reasons why I selected her. She won't be carrying any of her regular duty gear. She won't have access uh, to her firearm or any of that equipment. Um, she'll probably have a pair of cuffs on her. She's kind of going to be out there by herself, but the officers, as well as Eye in the Sky, we all got her back. We'll be watching her as she's watching them. Excuse me. Sorry. I said sorry. I said sorry. Did you not see me standing I here? I saw you. You're the one that wasn't paying attention no, to what I'm was behind standing you. right here. But before she long, Dorothy is bang at the center of the action. You can and back I'm up. standing right there. You can you back up. Right so in front clearly, of you. You if we're the sober you ones, you can back up. You can back no. up. She walked over. She got in my face. Her friend came in my face. I didn't appreciate that. I want that to you. She's the one Dorothy's one. got one option. Yeah. Guess what? I'm the security here. I don't give a f who you are. You know, I can throw you out. I can send you to jail. Oh. What the f are you going to do? You can get in my face. I'm we like, were here do you first. Want do you want handcuffs on? Not cool. No, not at all. Who so the f had you are? Don't worry about who I'm calling. What have you been asking too much to drink? Can you 10 five me here at the West Park? West Park? I don't like calling for backup. Sometimes. I have to. Oh, who are you calling? You calling your daddy? Why did you let me say that? I said back up. You made me say my drink. I said back up. Not cool. Hmm. Your woman wants a hard six. Give it to her. The Binion's cowgirls are the image of the casino. Since the girls were first introduced, business has boomed. But there's more to this job than a pretty face and a new batch of hopefuls are about to find out. It's downtown. Downtown's crazy fun. You be a cop girl. Yeah. A cowgirl. A cowgirls cow are always yeah. fun. I heard a lot of good things about being here, so I really would like to be here. Uh, why wouldn't I want to work here? I mean, everyone wants to work here. There are more than 20 cowgirls working each day. Many have gone on to careers in modeling, television, and movies. The competition is fierce. Good afternoon, ladies. How are we doing? Good, good. Binion's uses an agency to supply candidates, and today, eight girls are vying for one job. When we are hiring cowgirls, the most important thing that we look for is their personality. Hi, guys. A real playful atmosphere is what we strive for down the floor. Better than nothing, right? <laughs> Another aspect is they have to be tough-skinned about what they do. Let me take you over here for a quick drink. They have to be able to deal with someone that wants to try their luck with them in a more sexual way instead of playing on the game. Okay, number one, don't touch. I love, I I'm going to go this way, you're going to go that way. You understand? Okay. Honey, 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 honey. Most importantly, they need a good knowledge of the game, and they must be wizards at math. We'll try to make this as quick as possible. Um, we'll just walk them through right now. Here they come now. 
Here we go, ladies. Good afternoon, ladies. How are we doing? Good. How are you? Good, good, good. Glad to see how you made it today. We're going to be doing auditions for a cowgirl position. So we're looking for craft stealers, beautiful personalities, beautiful smiles, so we can bring a younger audience into opinions. Right now, we're just going for a personality type. And we'll assess your skills at a later time. Joining Mark and casting assistant Spencer for the auditions is senior cowgirl Jessica. Jessica was not intimidated by the players on the game. She gives right back what they give to her. I felt that that would be a good asset so that the cowgirls that were coming in would know what to expect. She looks scared to death already. <laughs> She's not even so downstairs scary. yet, Mark. <laughs> when I was originally brought into Minions, I was brought in to be the experienced girl to show the other girls the ropes, to show the girls exactly how they're supposed to be as far as dealers, and how they're supposed to be as party pick girls. I am a hard ass, but you know, I get it done. How long have you been in the business? About three, four months now. Okay. I need more money. Pays bills, <laughs> you know, I expensive town. <laughs> okay, why do you want to work downtown? I like the atmos atmosphere of downtown. Do you always have a stutter? <laughs> Sometimes when I get a little nervous. Do we make you nervous? Just a little bit. Just when I get in front of people sometimes. Well, you work in front of people. Well, it's okay. Don't it's work. just you guys, because you guys are the main head bosses to me. So I'm not a boss, honey. I'm just like you. When I'm looking at candidates, there is that intimidation factor, and I want them to have that. Because if you can't hold your own, then you're going to be eaten up, and that's the way it is. You've been dealing for long enough to know that downstairs it's a whole different animal. If you don't have that confidence level, you're not going to be able to deal with the people. Yeah. And the players will know. They'll eat you alive. They'll eat you alive. Hi, where are you from? I'm from San Diego, California. From Hungary. South Dakota. What games do you deal? Blackjack Black and three-card poker. And three-card, OK. You look like a sweet, sweet girl. Trust me, those are what you got to watch out for. I can rub them. Yeehaw. I need some money, honey. <laughs> I don't know. And meet some hot boys. <laughs> Give me a bonus. Why do you want to work downtown? It's fun and you get to deal with people. All different types? Yes. The drunks, the winos. What the... happens when, you, when they're the drunks, the winos that you don't like? What do you do? Put a smile on your face and act like you like them. Very good, good answer. Very good, very good. I love dealing with drunk people. Oh, really? They're funny uh -huh. at times, most of the time. Can yeah. you step back for a minute so I can take a picture? Yeah. Strike a pose. <laughs> that Goldfinger girl, yeah. she's a mess. She's a little bit timid, too. She kind of didn't seem like she really wanted to be there, or... Did she blink her eyes at all? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> it's a mixed bag of wannabes. I had three years' experience, so I'm sure I get the job. Others are new to the casino game. How long have you been in the business? Uh, I have not been in the business at all. Cards can be learned. Personality, not so much. So here at Vinions, this is our uniform. Interesting. Well, because you do get comments in this all the time. I just don't like it. Some of them don't understand the concept of being half naked. Vegas is Vegas and sex sells. I would not be surprised to see every single table equipped with a cowgirl. Would you be comfortable in an outfit like this? I would be naked if, if that's what they require. I don't care. <laughs> she said she would be naked. <laughs> write it down. Naked. <laughs> write it down. You have a good tummy? I do. <laughs> Got a good okay. tummy. Yeah. Just making sure. All right. I won't have your boyfriend coming down here being <laughs> irate. No, actually, at this time he won't because oh, okay. I don't know him. <laughs> oh, good. Let's write that down. Let's write that, Let's write so, that down. He'd like something else. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. All right, ladies. Meet us right out in the hallway. There. We'll be right out there. Okay. Thanks again Thank for coming. Thank you for in. coming. All right. I noticed that there was a couple good girls in there, but whoa, there was some. <laughs> Or so I didn't even understand why they thought they had a shot. I think I have a pretty good chance. I'm, I'm pretty loud, I'm pretty outgoing. Everybody seems to like me and I like everybody. And I'm shiny. Who doesn't like shiny people? I'm just crossing my fingers and hoping for the best. You made me so I said back up. Confronted by three obnoxious patrons at the casino, security supervisor Dorothy has called for backup. I let her know that I was with security, and she didn't care. It was F U B were here and there. Let's check. Let's check. You want bracelets? 
After a tough casting session, it's time to cut the eight hopefuls down to two. Yeah, they seem to be like a good group of girls we had there. Yeah, there was two or three that were good. Well, some of them we can toss out on the way out. Yeah. 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 There was two girls that stood out big time. One was very respectful. She was direct. She made eye contact. You could tell she had a confidence about herself. I'm not working at all, but I would love to be able to get out of the house and socialize and meet people and just be in that fun atmosphere. And there was another one that, as much as she was nervous, you could tell she was fun. So I kind of thought that I could help her and mold her a little bit. The audition process was easy for me because I thought the judges were pretty cool and the other girls, from what I saw, lacked confidence. It's goodbye to shiny girl, goodbye to the most experienced applicant, and goodbye to Goldfinger. But hello to Rachel and Yvonne. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, here we go. The two of them are competing for one job. Oh, cool. Look at all the couches. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I love the pink one. I love it. I'm taking this one. Oh. We put the candidates in their uniforms so we can see that, how they'd handle situations wearing less than what they'd normally wear. I mean, if they're comfortable showing their body uh, behind the game. OK. All right. Oh, my god. It's so tiny. My butt's going to be hanging out of this. See, this is going to be a problem. <laughs> the outfits, oh my. And do I have it on upside down? I'm not even kidding. No, that's OK. Right. That's okay. You feel very exposed, definitely on display. It looks like, I don't know, I feel like you have more coverage. But look. Yeah, OK, maybe it's not just me. <laughs> I need to lift them. I think the outfits are cute. It's Vegas, you know, sex sells, especially with the outfits like that. Can you rock it? If you can't rock it, then we don't need you. It's down to business. Can the girls rock it on the casino floor? Yes, they're eye-catchy. Yes, they're, they've got skimpy outfits on. But that's only part of the game. The game is also that once they get the people in, to get them to stay and gamble and, and play with them. You still have to be outgoing and friendly, but you also have to be able to handle the mechanics of the game and um, you know make sure you're following procedures at, at the same time. Sometimes it's not easy. While on probation, the girls can't touch the cards. Hi, lady. Hi, how are you guys? Their task, watch Jessica and keep up with the game. Good luck. Give each player a card, make sure it's on the right side of the bat. Okay, so she's got 14. What is she going to do? Wait, can you have this? can't touch the cards. Let her work through the two hands once she gets to here and ask her a question. Let I'm already in trouble. Uh, 21 for the blackjack. The lesson becomes real when drunken customers are added to the mix. You want to join? You want to play? No, I just want to watch. We got big, we got big. Come on. I got right there. He's got a big beer. That's got many options. You got a five, bud. You got options. I think they're like eight all the way down. Now, trying to learn the blackjack and then trying to deal with the drunk people at the same time and then also trying to entertain your clients, it's just a lot to take in all at once. Out on the street. A couple of unwanted customers have left the building. Some bitch runs into us, makes us spill our drinks, and then we get carried out. For what? Why did yeah. we get carried out? She wasn't watching where she was going. We could have taken it outside, but no, she had to call security. And handcuff like us. Like we had I mean, guns and sh If she would have put her hands on me, 
or, you know, her friends put their hands on me. Hey, I'm a security. Then we would have had the press charges. Thank God it didn't come to that uh, because they probably would have been sitting in jail right now. <laughs> Balancing drunks and cards, the cowgirl hopefuls are struggling. How do you deal with this situation? Jessica's challenging the girls by playing her hands, fast and furious. So this is a 20, because it's an ace and a nine, so it could be 10 or 20. Got it? Yeah. Is this going too fast for you? It's a little fast, but you know, I don't want to ruin the game, so. She looks like she's in a daze. Do you have it? You have it in you to be a dealer? I'm good, sweetie. I'm good. You think crafts or something might be more your thing? annoyed right now. I lost my temper there for a second. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't want Jessica to train me because she's too fast. I would have to sit down and have somebody else explain things to me slower. Yvonne, not really willing to work really hard. She thought maybe she could just show up and be cute and make lots of money. You're gonna be eating alive. Yvonne's got a bad attitude landing this job isn't going to be so easy. Dorothy gets stellar reviews working security, and management shows its appreciation. I got a friend of mine who gave us some comp tickets tonight for, uh, for, the, for the ball game. And you and Harris are going to go out to the 51s game. Oh, you're kidding. I know what a big baseball fan yeah. you are. You've done such a great job. We kind of want to try to do something a little bit more for you. Thank you so much. No, no <laughs> My right, pleasure. Cool. Thanks. You're welcome. Yep, there you go. As an added bonus, Dorothy throws out the ceremonial first pitch. Hey, got your baseball? Thank you. I like your sparkles. Uh, <laughs> We're ready. Ah uh -huh. Representing Binions, here is Dorothy Justino. Hi, Mr. Catcher. <laughs> I heard the announcer announcing Dorothy at Binions. She's throwing out the ball. It was awesome. All right, Dorothy. Hey, great job. <laughs> I just love baseball. Awesome. <laughs> thank you. You're very welcome. This is awesome. I want to thank everybody that brought me here today. Um, <laughs> it means a lot to me to be here. Can I make your day? Yeah, it's awesome. Good. You guys can't see my soft side. I'm supposed to be a supposed to be a tough girl. Don't worry, I won't tell the guys about it. <laughs> Back at Binion's, it's decision time. Who will be the next cowgirl? They survived the lineup, skimpy costumes, and the drunks. The final test, will the new recruits get along with the other cowgirls? On any given day, there's about 20 cowgirls working. So when you get 20 girls together, they're not all going to get along. And of course, somebody's got something to say about everything, you know? I don't want to say that it's all catty, but when you first get here, it's very catty. Jessica clearly has her favorite. This is Rachel. <laughs> hi. 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 Nice to meet you. Sorry, that's how I say hi. Oh, well, you'd be really disappointed <laughs> when you say hi to me. <laughs> so yeah, no, so we're hired as entertainers, right? Yeah. You know, that's what sort of what I thought. But then when, she, when we got into the blackjack, I was like, holy cow. Well, you gotta know the game. Like yeah. I said, they'll send you to school until you get it. The thing is, is they want the ditzy blonde, but I actually have to be able to count, which, hello? What gets hard is dealing with the comments. You get a lot of comments, and if you're making money, you'll take the comments. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Keep but when you're not right? making money and they're saying stuff to you, you just turn bitch mode, like, oh, yeah, that's a way. <laughs> then talk turns to agency rules. What were you talking about the evacuation process? Oh, God, yeah. I mean, as long as you know your game and you follow the rules. Just keep our standards. Oh, yes. We're sun body weight. Yeah, we weighed in, measured in. Okay, measured in. Weigh you? Yeah. Wow, that's kind of personal. 
the girls, the outfits, the games. Is Rachel overwhelmed? You need another drink. Uh, I think I do. Let's yeah. go get a drink. All right. All right. All right. See you guys. Minions have made their choice after seeing the girls in the lineup, in costume, and on the casino floor. The decision is unanimous. The new cowgirl is... Rachel. You know, I kind of felt like you can be like my little protege. I can kind of take you under my wing. Not everyone agrees. Hey, you know, Rachel's really sweet, but she's not right for this job. Yeah, I think that maybe this isn't what I should be doing right now. Some of the cattiness, and then just the drunk people, and just having to know the blackjack in and out. I don't know if I can handle that. Right. Well, thank you so much. Um, I think I made the right decision. It does kind of pitch off in a way, but at the same time, what are you going to do? Bottom line, the casino needs to fill the position in less than 24 hours. And there's only one choice. You have nice lips. Are you kidding me? I'm here to entertain you and that's it. You're being disrespectful. We do have a dress code. Thanks for stopping by. If Albert doesn't change, I can't have him up there. I'll take steps to make sure he's not up there. All right, take it easy. Just breathe a little bit. I'm with you. I'm going to let nothing happen to you. But we're all deeply concerned about his well-being right now. In a city known for its ruthlessness in hiring and firing, Binion's is famous for fostering a sense of family among its staff. For 60 years, it's earned tremendous loyalty. My dad actually worked at Binion's. The whole atmosphere is totally different here. So it's nice to continue the legacy that my family has already put in. Is it in my blood? Yes. Will it always be there? Yes, it will be, always. I can't see myself doing anything else. Binion's just something about it, the environment, the, the players. Everybody's awesome. We're all like a family, you know? Everybody, my boss, everybody. It's very close. The rest is all yours. Thank you. Fletch is one of Binion's most popular employees. I'm a table game supervisor. I started as a casino porter, and I'm watching table games now. That's OK. I got it. I got it. That's OK. I've known Fletcher for the five years I've been working at Binion's. He's a longtime employee here. Uh, as soon as I came in on swing shift, he was one of the first uh, pit guys I met. I have guests that come in and look for him, ask for him. Uh, is he around? Is he, is he is his days off? The magic of Fletch is his charisma, his style, his genuine honesty. All these things combined into what makes Fletch Fletch. I got your pills here, sir. I figured you wouldn't forget me. With Binion's support, he has survived difficult times. 17 years ago, I put away a crack pipe. 17 years ago, hallelujah, hallelujah, 17 years ago, for good. But Fletch is still coping with some serious health issues. I'm coming. I have high blood pressure. I have arthritis on both knees, both hips. I'm not a healthy person. I'm not a healthy person, um, but if you can't worry about what you can't control. Gentlemen, how are we doing? Everything but better you liking so far? Up on the top floor, Albert has managed Binion's famous steakhouse restaurant for four years. The steakhouse exemplifies uh, a classic old steakhouse. Established almost 40 years ago, the restaurant was a popular hangout for the Rat Pack. Albert is fiercely proud of its stellar reputation. We're all doing well with our dinners here for you. Everything prepared to your liking for you. And he's all about service. I worked uh, at Buckingham Palace, and I worked in the city of London at the American Embassy. Uh, consequently, after a couple of years, I managed several of the Kennedy residences. New Jersey-raised Glenn is a different kind of traditionalist. His expertise is casinos. 
having survived the business for 30 years. Glenn knows you can't live in the past. We're really trying to evolve Binion's quickly to try and establish another loyal and younger customer base. If we leave the steakhouse behind, we leave a very significant part of Binion's behind. These two heavyweights are on a collision course. But what I find is when they come up here, they come half loops. But they show no respect for the elderly clientele. I'd like them to come round and feel on a special occasion when they don't want to get drunk and wild. Well, I think there's got to be somewhere where we can split that happy medium. We are a steak and potato house. We're not going to change what we have. That's proven. 38 years it's been here to appease the kids. And I can't see us finding a common ground at present. At the steakhouse, I know what our market is. I know the customer base that I deal with. And it's not going to be uh, a bunch of kids. Just do what I ask and try to get I'll, this I'll situation. Work I'll work on it. Don't well, like the we're chances. We're going to make it happen. Yeah, right? yeah, we'll... Let me say this. It's a work in progress. Glenn's not looking for a work in progress. He wants action now. If Albert can't step up to the plate and make the changes that we need to make, I can't have him up there, and I'm going to take steps to make sure he's not up there. Where are you from, baby? I'm from here. I've been here my entire life, but I'm Argentina. Roxy, one of the casino's famous cowgirl dealers, loves the family spirit of Binion's. As a single mom, she's grateful for the support. I guess I've been lucky. I have my house and my car is paid in full, so I manage. You have nice lips. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. As a cowgirl, she's got to look her best, whatever it takes. I just like to do Botox, Juvederm, fillers, fat transfer, boobies. Roxy's focus on her looks can become an occupational hazard. She's so hot. I can't take it. Where are we at? Right here? Bust! Uh, bust, baby! Bust. bust! I want to bust that right now. <laughs> OK, come on. I need a blackjack. All right, blackjack for the lady, What's my girl. Yeah, babies. Does it matter? You know you want to go out with me. No, sir. I do not mess with people on my game, especially who are rude to me. He's just pushing it and pushing it, being rude and disrespectful. You love me, huh, baby? Oh. You're messing oh, up our table. Oh. Seriously? You know what? You're messing up our table. Right, We're sorry. just trying to we come play cards, OK? Why would you do that? Yeah. Oh, I'm splitting that. Yeah. Roxy tolerates the loudmouth. But when other players get involved, she has a much bigger problem to deal with. We're going back to the room later. You like fat guys? Why are you trying to pick up the, why are you trying to pick up the deal? Not necessarily fat. It's how you treat me. Oh, really? Right now, you're disrespectful. Are those boobies real? Hey, you messed up our tables. Oh, bring him. Oh, oh my god. Take his god. You got to. That's Garbage. your third, that's All your third part. I'm good, baby. No, no, no. I hate the word good. I'm fine. I'm, oh, would I'm you fine. Recommend like one? Like I would hit it. I'll hit that shit all day. Watch it. You know you want to get down. No, I don't. Why would you two think I would want to get down with you? Are you kidding me? No, no. I'm here to entertain you, and that's it. You know what? She's, trying to, she's trying to do her job here. You're just being disrespectful. No, seriously. Are you married? No, sweetie, I'm not. Oh, you're single. What are you doing later? Not you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Very positive. When I have the drunk, sometimes like, I'll mess with them back, but I have to put up with it. That's the bad part. Being disrespectful. No, no seriously. Being disrespectful. You know, no, no, really. I'm sorry. No. You got a nice rack. You know what? Seriously? Seriously, seriously. Seriously, no. Try being nicer for a I don't know. This guy's being rude. This is too rude. You messed up our table. You messed up our table. Oh, sorry, Sugar. You don't want any of me. You don't want any of me. You don't want any of me. Get the out of here. You messed up our table. You're done. Get him out of here. The girl was just trying to do her job. Then you got this over here, just going off and just being very disrespectful, almost harassing her. I just couldn't handle that anymore. I couldn't do it. Regardless what age or what I do for a living, you should know better. You do not talk to a female like that. You know, he just pushed that last button because he was going at it for a while. But it just shows how fast it can escalate, how fast a good time, and all of a sudden they cross that line, and unless we keep them in check, 
on the line, and he, you know, once they get further and further on the line, this is exactly what happened. Thank you for being there for me. All right, I'm gonna shut her down. You should know better. Everybody, you know, was brought up with manners. Do not talk to me like that. I do not tolerate that. Across the casino floor, security has received an emergency call. And for the Binion staff, it's personal. It's Fletch. What's going on? Roach dizzy spells. You know, blacking in and out. So, so are you just feeling dizzy and faint, that's all? No, he's dizzy and fainting. And... Okay. What's the last thing? Uh, uh, I'm having a sensation right now. All right, take it easy. Fletch's supervisor, Mark, and security lieutenant, Harris, try to keep him calm as they wait for the paramedics. You're doing good, Fletch. Oh my God, what's happening to me? No, no, hey, Fletch, you gotta relax now, bud. Relax, breathe. Three notes out your mouth. All right, don't, don't, don't worry about anybody around looking. Don't worry about that right now, okay? I'm with you, I'm gonna let nothing happen to you. You know me, Fletch, okay? You're doing fine. I'm not. Well, right now you are. You're with me. We got help coming for you. We'll I get never you. felt this way before. All right, very much. Hi, guys. What's going on tonight, I sir? Night-headed, man. So you've been yeah. feeling dizzy for a while. Yeah. For a it's few days. It's coming and going. Okay. Episodes every 20 minutes. And okay. Every 15 or 20 minutes. Fletch is very well loved and liked in this whole department, on the whole floor. To see him in a situation like this, it, it hurts all of us. It hurts all of us. So we're all deeply concerned about his well-being right now. What do you need, man? I'll walk with you. Fletch is losing consciousness. The paramedics need to react quickly. They need to get him into emergency right away. Gentlemen, good evening to you. Nice to have you with us. Back at the steakhouse, manager Albert explains the new marketing strategy to his staff. They are looking here in our marketing department to accommodate the younger groups. And as you know, when we do have younger groups here, we don't have that much success. They come in drunk, uh, order, split dinners, get rowdy, and then we throw them out. I'm from the old school, even though I look only like 40 years old. <laughs> Round of applause, please. Thank you very much. When three customers arrive at the restaurant, the instruction to welcome the young crowd is tested. Hi, how are you doing this evening? Uh, Excellent. Uh, we have a dress code. Dress code? Yeah, we require that you have uh, no tank tops. No tank tops? Oh, really? really need sleeves? Just eat dinner? Yeah. We're really in a rush. Sleeves and arms. Sleeves and what? Arms that come out Arms of the sleeves, yeah. Long I need a long sleeve shirt? shirt? No. But there's an excellent shirt shop downstairs, $5 a shirt. You go down one so U-turn. So I have to go buy a shirt just to eat dinner here? No, you don't have to buy the shirts. If you don't like it, you don't buy it. But we do have a dress code. All right. Thanks for stopping by, now listen. Thank you. I think we're going to open a pool here. Despite his job being on the line, Albert sticks to his principles. It's a risky strategy. The biggest challenge that I do face is to get Albert to get out of the old mindset. Things aren't the way they used to be. But the boys are back. Gentlemen, how are you? Good. good. Excellent. Welcome. Don't you feel much better in the shirts now? Yeah, we look good. So Not really. Yeah, that's good. OK, we've got a spot for you, gentlemen. How about come around this way for you? Thanks. It's not a complete transformation, but at least it's a start, a bit closer to what Glenn was asking for. I'll send out a waiter for you. Thanks very much. I got a call. You just met her last night. What happened? Oh, that's weird. What, 10 years? 10 years? Five months. Five months. 10 years? Where are you from? Jenna has been a cowgirl for three years, but despite Vegas being the wedding capital of America, finding the right guy hasn't been easy. Vegas is horrible dating. It's just, guys are very creepy here. They, they, they stalk you. You go on one date and they think you're gonna get married. That's not the case. But finally, she might have found the one. 
pretty much all of my family is. When I met Josh, I wasn't looking for a relationship, it just, it happened. Josh is, he's amazing, he's perfect. For Josh's birthday, Jan has invited him to Binion's for the first time. Hmm. I'm interested in, in, in Jana. Eventually she started to tell me about a little bit more about her job. You know, I, I started telling her more about my job. I'm in the Air Force right now, so I'm just kind of working out here. So far it's worked out. I think her job's awesome. I'm really behind her. It's great. Good but glitzy Vegas puts big dreams in the minds of young lovers. How about I just like I save all my money up and I just go to Binion's and I just like throw it all down on, you know, to the crap stick. You don't know how to play cards. I can learn. You should practice throwing dice. All right. We're going to make this money so we don't have to work and go on vacation. No, we don't have to go on vacation. We're going to live the vacation. Vacation is going to be our job. Yes. Jana chooses the most romantic spot at Binion's to give Josh his birthday Ooh, gift. This is nice. Yeah. There's like nothing up here. This is awesome. Look. Oh, wow. It's like old Vegas style. It I is. like it. It is old Vegas. This is cool. I got you a present. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. I need these in my life. It's scary, but I like it. It could be love, yes. You're so beautiful. So amazing. Thank you. I'm so glad you're in my life now. On the casino floor, the cowgirls, supervisors, and security cameras are constantly monitoring unusual gambling patterns. It's an ongoing battle to catch card counters and cheats. With fewer cards in play, single deck blackjack is a card counter's easiest target. Glenn's been tipped off about a gambler who's acting suspiciously. Glenn Casal, director of Andy, casino operations. Andy, what happened? I'm, I'm sitting here playing at your pit. Mm -hmm. I went from a lower bet to a higher bet. Okay. And as soon as she saw that I had that much money out there, she stopped and went to a shovel. But how many hands had you played at that time? One. One hand. OK, let me talk to the supervisor, see what I can find out. All right. What's up? Do you know anything about something that happened on this game with this gentleman or something? Yeah, he goes from $10 to like $80 to $100, and the dealers are told to shuffle up. When a player radically increases the value of his bets, it raises flags. By shuffling the deck, anyone counting cards has to start from scratch. This gambler feels he's been called out for cheating. OK, OK. Yeah. Well, that, that solves the problem yeah, right exactly. there. Yeah, exactly. I tried to explain it to him, you know, but. OK. They shuffled when he increases bet more than five units. And that's, that's our normal policy and procedure on a single deck blackjack game. And it's actually to protect the games from the likes of card counters. All right, well, I, I understand what happened now. Any time on a single deck blackjack game, we have a situation where a player goes more than five units, the dealers are supposed to be shuffling. Uh, if you went from $10 to $80, that would cause her to shuffle the cards. Well, I was informed that, you know, it makes me suspicious. You, you understand well, what I'm saying? you moving your money like that makes me suspicious. You understand? She already went to go throw the card and then pulled back, and that makes me suspicious. Director of Casino Operations Glenn is dealing with a disgruntled customer. You moving your money like that makes me suspicious. You understand? When you're moving your money from $10 to $80 on I've been a couple hands. I moving my money for, for five hands that, that way. Oh, OK. I was really upset. I can understand that. Due to the fact that nobody, nobody ever said anything until this point. How about if I get you a little something to eat or something? You hungry? Yeah, that'll be fine. Not I problem. appreciate your time. OK, my pleasure. Thank you. If you're going to be card counting or cheating, you're on top of your, your game. You're not drinking. You're not carrying a beer around and stuff like that. So I, I didn't really feel this, this gentleman was a threat to the games. 
Two for uh, food, drinks, whatever. $50 max for the uh, bullpen. Okay. I, you know, My pleasure. It, it was just, I, you know, yeah, it was a misunderstanding. Is, uh, I don't think that he was trying to in any way compromise the game. I think that's probably just his betting styles. So it's always a very fine line that we walk in the casinos where we're trying to protect the games, but make sure that the customers are taken care of as well. Hey, how you doing? I know we had a, a slight a misunderstanding earlier, but I'm ready to get back with you. I was just doing my job. <laughs> yeah, it's all in a, all in a day's all work, right? Yeah. The gambler is back at the table and ready to pick up where he left off. Thank you. Fletch's last shift at the casino ended in emergency. Being in that stretcher, being in that, in that situation. Doesn't get much worse. Now after two weeks, he's been given the all clear to go back to the job he loves. I miss Binions. I miss going, sure. and I miss the people. I'm looking forward to it. That, that's part of the fun. It feels great. This is the only way I can get back in shape. You know, I can't get in the flow staying at home. I got to be in it. I got to be in the river to get wet. And here we go. Folks, good evening. How we doing? Everybody good? So I want to welcome Fletch back. Everyone was uh, very concerned about your well-being and uh, very glad to see that you're back. Mark will always ask you every day how you're doing and how you're feeling. You really feeling all right? Make sure you arthritis, care, so. but ain't nothing, none of the sickness. OK, yeah. OK. All right, man, I'll see you on the floor. OK, man. All right, you take it easy. I'm back. Now you know I'm back. OK. <laughs> He's a good man. He'll make it. He'll be all right. What's going on, man? Fine, fine. Glad you're back. It was very hard for me seeing Fletch go through his emergency. Um, you never want to see one of your friends uh, or coworkers go go through it. Take it easy. Seeing Fletch back is awesome. Um, you know, I'm happy he's here. Um, he's been here a long time. He's he's a normal face and a regular face in, in the pits, and it wouldn't be the same without Fletcher. Well, if you need anything else, Fletch, let us know. We're here for you, bud. Be blessed, man. All right, Fletch. Right. Thanks, bro. Spent a lot of money in this casino. I need my marker up. You're having a credit problem with Jay? All the guys on the floor right now are trying to locate this eight-year-old child in the casino. We've been through this entire building and have not seen anybody matching that description. I've never been in a menage This party is shut down. This party is shut down. Every day, Binion's welcomes 15,000 guests through its doors. From businessmen to brides, the casino takes care of them all. The one great thing about the casino industry is that it's never consistent. As much as experience as I've had in my 30 plus years in the business, you always learn something new every day. You always see something new and something different on the casino floor. And that's part of what I loved and why I got into the business originally. Today, the casino gives a hero's welcome to a Las Vegas legend, Mayor Oscar Goodman. The Bingham Cowgirls. All right. No wonder I'm the happiest mayor in the universe. He's chosen Binion's as the location for his last official visit before retiring for good. How are you, Oscar Goodman? Nice to see you. Hi, Corey. How are you? Thank you. Jana. Hi, Jana. How are you doing? Good. Are we going to uh, go in like uh, stars? Yeah. Here we go. Stars. There we go. Yeah. Goodman is part of the Las Vegas establishment. As a lawyer, he represented some of the most notorious characters in Vegas. Goodman is so much a part of the city, he played himself in Martin Scorsese's classic film, Casino. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Have a good day. Uh, you know, Binion's, uh, to me, is a very special place. I used to uh, meet Benny Binion here and his uh, sons uh, for lunch almost on a daily basis. And when I come back here, it reminds me of those classic Las Vegas days. And you can only... Uh, you can only get that feeling when you go into a place where the memories are there, and that's why I love coming into Binion's. This is good. Right here is good. This is wonderful. Binion's with the heart and soul of downtown, the history, I think it's got a special place in his heart. 
This is the mayor's 15th official visit to Binion's, and Glenn is excited to introduce his guest. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a special treat today for you. It's one of his last days in office after 12 years of supporting downtown and supporting Las Vegas. He's been one of the best mayors, and he's also the happiest mayor in the universe. I am that. His honor, Mr. Goodman. Okay. He got very, very uh, nervous there because he said, uh, I'm one of the best mayors. I've been the best mayor that any city ever had. Now, don't give me one of these, one of the best things. Love being the mayor of the city of Las Vegas. Greatest city in the world and so full of history and so full of life and vitality. And I hope everybody makes a fortune here today. Uh, that's uh, the least that could happen. And uh, if you don't, then uh, uh, don't come to me for a loan tomorrow because I am out of work. <laughs> So dealers, shuffle up and get the cards in the air. Binion's has become a real supporter of what we're trying to do in the downtown here. We've tried to revitalize downtown Las Vegas and this is a privilege to be here today. Ladies, I think I'm out of here. The mayor's been a great friend of Binion's. Not wasted a moment here. And the mayor's a celebrity, so it's very important to uh, to Binion's. He didn't visit any other casino downtown. He visited Binion's. Okay, ladies, I'll see you, okay? See Take care. Thank Thanks you. for everything. Yeah. You're great. Goodman concludes his last official duty, though the chain of office is being kept in the family. He's being replaced by his wife. <laughs> Weddings in Vegas go hand in hand. The wedding business generates more than $400 million a year for the city. Wedding parties mean big bucks for Binion's. Bachelorette parties, we like them to have a good time. We want to know that this is a party place they can have fun. Angel gets married in the morning. The party is just getting started. Angel's best friend, Tara, is the ringleader. She's created three challenges for Angel. Number one. Angel, please take a read. Read it aloud and let everyone know what you'll be doing. Okay. You must find a security guard in the casino and give him a big, wet kiss. Come on. Angel finds a willing participant, but he's not security. Security! Security! Angel's gonna be a devil tonight. L.A. musician Jay has been gambling at Binion's for more than four years. But tonight, the cards aren't being kind to Jay. He's down $20,000, the extent of his credit line. His only chance for a comeback is if Binion's will extend his credit. I've spent a lot of money in this casino. I need my marker up, and I need it marked. I need it now. I, I need it now. I I'm really frustrated. The only problem I have, I personally can't do it. What do you mean? You can't, you can't raise my marker? I have to get clearance from my well, supervisor, who's Glenn. Let me get him on the phone. The situations like that, people get upset. You know, we've had fights outside the pits and fights between players. And when people want to go above and beyond their credit line, especially who's the level of player that Jay is, 
I want to get him calmed down and satisfied as quickly as possible. He's upset because I can't extend his credit line. All right, I'm on my way. Okay. All right, thanks. You got to do this. OK. Take us right here. Guys, guys. Hey. Mark, Glenn, Mark. What's, what's man, up? I, yeah, you know what? I'm having a, I'm Settle having down. a bad Settle man. Down. It's hard to settle down. I'm having a Come bad run. Settle down. You can't put my marker. We do extend credit to uh, customers that have a certain credit rating, depending on how much money they have in their bank accounts and stuff like that. Is how we determine uh, what type of line we're going to give somebody. What's the current? Is current line? Twenty thousand. All right. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, I'll increase it for this trip only. Okay. We'll take it up ten uh, percent. Oh, okay. come on, Glenn. I'm a way better player than 10%. That doesn't give me a chance. That's two grand. That's four hands. You know me. You know my trip. I've been here a long time. Right. A good go. A, you know, good customer. And I need it because it's gone. Everything. And I don't want to. I don't want to. Yeah. And you know. And um, I'm frustrated. I'm angry. Jay's holding out for another ten thousand dollars. What are you looking for? Fifty percent. Fifty. Fifty percent. So that's a little steep for this situation here. No, I want yeah. you know, I'm looking out for you too, Jay. Yeah, are you sure you wanna you wanna go that high with it? You know what I mean? Man, if five hundred bucks a hand, I mean what No, what, you I know, know, but you wanna put on. yourself in that type of situation? Well, I mean, you know I, I mean? don't wanna be in the situation I'm in. I don't wanna be in the situation I'm in. I gotta have enough bump to try to get back in the zone. Jay wanted fifty percent of his credit line. You're really better off with the health of the casino and the health of the player. Try not to overextend them in any type of credit line. Because it doesn't do anybody any good if they run out of credit or if they run out of cash and they can't pay the credit line. How about if we do 25% and you and I will go upstairs and have dinner? And we'll see how it goes. Give yourself a little breathing. 30, 30. OK, 30. 30, 30, 30 and I'll still buy you dinner. Oh, all right, cool. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. They shake on six grand. All right, is this, where do you want to play? You pick your table. Where it's do you want to go? This pretty lady right here. This is good? Yeah. OK. Sit down, relax. It'll be through uh, the system in a minute. When you lose that kind of money, it happens. But it never makes you happy. Never makes you happy. <laughs> Within an hour, Jay's $26,000 in the hole. And Binion's cuts him off for the night. Angel's bachelorette party is in full swing. She's been set three challenges. You gotta be hot, Angel. Why is anybody? Right. He has to be hot. Yeah. Like that kind of hot. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> One down. She's now trying to find a guy who will strip to the waist for a photo. proves difficult to swallow. But Angel's friends have one more surprise for the bride-to-be. Whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Woo! Let's go! Security supervisor to the guest services desk. Report of a missing child. Tommy. Wow. As these guests came up to the desk, uh, they got separated from an eight-year-old African-American juvenile. Take me to where you guys last saw him, and then we'll work from there. We was right up here. We couldn't. We, they, they told him to come back this way. OK. The eight-year-old little boy has wandered away from his mom, LaToya, and grandma, Tonika. And walk that way. Go on that way, to the bathroom. He's been missing for 45 minutes. Let me show you a picture of him. 
Let's get a name and let's get a page throughout the casino, please. I got my guys out there trying to see if they're still on the floor, so. Okay, then. Right. John Vaughty, please come to the security desk near the front door. So I'm going to go out and walk the floor to help my guys so we can actually start checking more areas. Right? Okay, thank you. Okay. It's a big place. Um, people get lost, separated. It's very easy to get disoriented in here. However, we got an eight year old child involved. Everybody's kind of nervous and frantic. Harris and his team have to cover 80,000 square feet of casino to find the child. Yeah, I'm working west to east right now. All the guys on the floor right now are trying to locate this eight year old. We're checking restrooms, we're checking hallways, stairwells, and try to get this group reunited so we can get them to wherever they got to go. Just you up here? Yeah. You didn't see no kids lost or anything, right? No. Okay, bud. Thank you. Binion's security staff have been searching for a missing eight-year-old for two hours with no luck. Right now, we're still searching for the child in the casino. Casino is clear. East restroom is also clear. We've been through this entire building and have not seen anybody matching that description. We already cleared upstairs. After two hours of searching, Harris and his security team are getting desperate. OK, copy. I'm checking the mezzanine right now. Negative contact east side. Uh, we are unable to locate this child anywhere in the casino. Uh, all our back house areas, all the main floor areas, we have no contact or any visual with this child. Control, uh, did they reunite yet? After nearly three hours, finally, some good news. Copy, Harris. Uh, the kid just walked up to the front desk. Go ahead and call the search. All units, disregard the bolo for the missing juveniles at the desk. Adam, take the control copy. I, I think everybody, I think everybody can count for it. OK, so we all accounted for it. Who is that? The child's stepfather has found him. The boy had wandered out of the casino, distracted by a show. I figured he went outside. There's relief all around, but not for this kid. He's got a lot of explaining to do. Your uncle and your godfather are coming up here to meet with you. They want to talk to you. No. Yeah, your so, mama too. Losing a child in Vegas is a parent's worst nightmare. The spirits are high at Angel's bachelorette party as she waits for her surprise. from the people below us, so we got to try to keep it down just We've a little bit. We've never got complaints. We've never done that before. Everybody drink. <laughs> I've never been in the menage twice. Yeah. Please. We've been having disturbances in here. OK. Listen, the rest of the hotel guests here, they've been complaining about the noise all night. OK, we'll bring it down. Oh, what's the purpose of all this noise? I mean, I can hear you from five, 25 feet down the hall. We were just having a bachelorette party. And we're we'll bring it down. How, how many people you got in this? Wait, listen. We got a problem here. I need you to take this seriously here for a second, because we got a bunch of hotel guests here. And they're hanging out. Angela's Aunt Barbara reckons there's more to this security guard than meets the eye. <laughs> Angel wants her gift to start the unwrapping. The stripper's done his dance, but the party's far from over. Some of Binion's customers don't need a party to behave badly. This guy 
is a one-man show. All right, give me the lay of the land here. Who's married? You have to watch out for married. the married ones. Married? Taken, single. This one? She's the one. When's the last time you made out while playing blackjack? Wait, are you eight? And I'm 13. Do you know what we get when we get together? 21. Watch out. So how do you talk about nine and 13? You want to have a threesome with her and me. Wait, I didn't know you were part of it. 13. Shh. All right, tell me a couple of her favorite things. All right, so. Okay, so she's a ballet dancer, and she loves feet. Seriously, you like your feet, I like feet. It's very compatible. Let me explain. I've never kissed a foot before, but I think I could do a good job. Well, if you're going to do it, yeah. you have to like, get on your knees and do it. Here we go. Her feet. I didn't do it. Ah, it's a good foot. No. See how dirty they are? It's kind of dirty, actually. Please upload this content. Now, honey, that's a fake test. I don't know. I got a thick kick. Do you like it? Like right there. You want me to? Her feet were very dirty. <laughs> They smelled a little bit bad, and and that kind of ruined the whole thing. Eat together. Number nine, this is your foot. Okay. Just hold on to that. Want. There we go. A double foot massage. Apparently, sloppy seconds don't rate in Vegas. It's 3 a.m. and Angel's bachelorette party is still in full swing. Turns out this security officer is not a party favor. Y'all ready to box? I'm sorry, you all, but this party is shut down. This party is shut down. Time to leave. Is it your party? I'm gonna get my shoes and I'm gonna bounce too. <laughs> oh, wait. So Angel's bachelorette party is busted, and at 3.30 a.m., another crazy day in Vegas comes to an end. Do we need to make her leave? No, you don't. Well, we just very, you know, by the arms. Oh, the my, my name is Muffin Girl. We might need to handle her out the door. No, you don't. We've had some uh, customer complaints. Don't you touch your cart. I'm supposed to change. I'll get left behind. Are you training me today? Oh, that's what I hear. Okay. And we're going to check the racks. <laughs> you don't need. No, no. Boring. I would get in so much trouble just because I'd be so bored. You suck at dealing. Nice, man. Way to talk to a lady. No, she sucks. <laughs> Bitch, what did I say? Right, that's enough. You're done. From the street, Binion's is all about the bright lights, noise, glamour, and mayhem. Deep in the heart of the casino is where the big money changes hands. Here, gambling is a serious business. Wait. Meet Carrie, Wait. casino supervisor and 40-year veteran of yep. Vegas. That's all you can do. I started out as a go-go dancer. A couple of shows with uh, Sammy Davis Jr. and back up for uh, the Righteous Brothers. I've been at Binion's for five and a half years. I've always been an independent woman. I don't want anybody telling me what to do. Don't you touch your cards. OK, now you can touch the cards. Now! When Carrie first began, dealers weren't there to entertain. 30 years ago or so when I was a dealer, you weren't supposed to have a good time with the players. You weren't supposed to 
do anything but be a robot. And the, the famous phrase was dummy up and deal. Times have changed. Today, Binion's competes with the mega casinos on the strip and constantly looks for new ways to draw in the crowds. I'll help you if you help me. Cowgirl Jana represents the new generation of dealers. <laughs> Thank you. Don't play with me. You guys aren't man enough. Old school or new school, Binion's has to bring in all types of customers to survive. As my father used to tell me years ago, you, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Sir, you have to use one hand on the cards. But sometimes carry can be a bit too heavy handed. Sir, I told you, you cannot play the dollar without playing the five here to qualify for the bonus. I'm good boy. I only want to play one dollar. Then you can't play. Why not? No, 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 no. No, you cannot do that. You need some more money. I haven't got it anymore. Then we're done. She yelled at me and I didn't feel that this was right because I just wanted to play with the last two dollars I had. But she didn't allow me to do it. I think I will not return to this casino because this is not the way to treat customers. We've had some uh, customer complaints which can't be tolerated. It's, uh, you know, some people are unhappy with the way they were treated. Guest service standards aren't where we need them to be. Guest service is number one. I don't care what your training is. I don't care what we did in the past or whatever. This is the new direction. This is the way we're gonna, we're gonna approach things. <laughs> At the front of the casino, Jana has been keeping the customers happy for three years. Jana is a beautiful person to work with. High five and laugh and joking with the players. She's just what we want. Las Vegas is a roller coaster. There are loops and turns and drops. You never know what you're going to fall into, but you end up having the time of your life. Jana is a slick operator, keeping the money flowing and the cards in play while entertaining the customers. She also gives a lot of support to the new girls. You want to make sure you keep your deck up because you don't want the face of the card showing to the players. What I did in Jana, Glenn sees management potential. What's going on? Oh, just shadowing. Just How are you? Some newbies. She just trying. came from poker, remember? Right, right. Yeah. Oh, OK, so you're just trying to help her out? Now? Yeah. What would you think about becoming a supervisor? Probably? I never thought about it, but that would be oh, cool. I'm always up for new things. Cool. All right, thank you, All Glenn. Right. Cool, no problem. The next step from a dealer is a, is a casino supervisor. You see some people that you think might make uh, a good supervisor someday, and, and the cowgirls are certainly welcome to move into that position when they become available. But is Jana ready for a big career move? I don't know the extent of the job. I just see what I see, and honestly, I think they just bull it all day. Away from the hustle of the casino floor, a meeting of a different kind is taking place. A pool. Security is concerned. All right, guys, real quick. Uh, in the next couple of days, management has authorized the use of the second floor for a hypnotist meeting convention. So I just want to bring it to you guys' attention so you know. We don't know who they are. I don't know what they're capable of doing. Move the way. It's more. <laughs> we all think we're strong-minded until we're caught out there in the West Casino with your gun belt around your ankles and you're dumping your rounds in the ceiling, clucking like a chicken, and guess what? You've been hypnotized. Well, from what I understand, there are people that are good enough that they can hypnotize you just by looking at you. They can sit there and talk to you and put you under trance. It can happen to anybody. So just make sure we're on top of it, walk your beats, and be visible, and be vigilant. All right, nothing else. Let's get out there and get on the floor, guys. Well, the reason I informed everybody about these hypnotists coming in is, one, it's information that has to be passed from shift to shift so everybody knows about it. And two, just from what I know and what I've seen uh, about hypnotists, you know, I don't want us to become a victim of, of what they do. So it, it's better that everybody knows about it so we can be on the lookout for these folks. Make sure when you're out there, too, you're not by the cage, hanging out, waving at the girls. I don't want to see you out there screwing around. You know, you and, you and Phil need to be a little bit more proactive with your duties. Just be wary, right? I don't want to see you guys out there getting hypnotized, and I see you up on the mezzanine level with a pickle in your ass, OK? <laughs> OK. You understand? That's not going to happen. Uh, who do you want to hypnotize? You As hypnotize predicted, in the casino, the hypnotists are already causing trouble with Binion's guests. And just relax. Sitting on down, you're in a safe place. Ready to sit down. Very good. All the way down. 
And if you like, you could even lie down as if you were on the beach. And every now and again, a balmy breeze comes by. You can actually fall asleep instantly. That's relaxed. I got you. Just relax. Totally relax. Officers Juan and Scott are not impressed. Let's go. Ready? Follow my lead. Just relax now. I'm a little more mellow than David is. Excuse me. What do we got going on here? Hey, uh, no, we're just, uh, What's going on? This guy is oh, not okay. Not, no, no, he's, he's fine. Uh, you need medical? A lot of times in hypnosis. Uh, what do you mean hypnosis? Uh, They're doing hypnosis on me? Like, good to meet you. Good to meet you. A lot of times we ignore reality and just do what we want to do because we're like the honey badger. We take what we want. You're, like not, the, you're, not, you're not paying attention to me. We I'm have a situation sorry. here. I have a, I have a guest on the floor. We have a situation. Yeah, yeah. I have a guest on the floor. If you're on the floor, would you want me to come over and see how you're doing? Well, I don't know. If I was uh, I mean, you know, I a would. boy on boy action, maybe I would. Well, you know, boy on boy, we can take you outside and show you boy on boy. I don't know because sometimes, you know, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm resistant to that. I'm resistant to authority. And in fact, the honey badger takes what he wants. Finally, security has had enough. It's time to say goodbye to the honey badger. All right, let's see here. How do you like this dirt nap? Huh? A little dirt nap. Let's, let's take you right outside and see how your dirt nap is. What am I going to have for dessert when I wake up? Looked like it was going to get combative, so I was just trying to protect you and our guests. OK, uh, I told the guests that they could come back in a couple of hours. OK. So in a couple of hours, uh, we might see them again in here. OK. But if they act up again, uh, then we'll have to talk to management about uh, getting them off our property. OK. And they can stay somewhere else. OK. There's plenty of other casinos where they can stay. OK. All right. So the next time, it's not Manhattan with the guy. OK. Because they can come back and haunt us. OK. All right? We got it. Make sure you spread them so you know you're getting three cards back. While Carrie trains a new cowgirl, she's trying hard to tame her wicked ways. Got him digging. You put up with a lot more than these kids do nowadays. I mean, they got it pretty easy. When I first got in the business, I could tell you a few war stories. And I mean war stories. Always pay back to front so you're not going over there over their checks. But Carrie's wicked ways. Uh, no, no, you're going over the money. Aren't so easy to leave behind. Megan, good luck, guys. Thank you. After only five minutes, the session's over, and the new girl dismissed. I've explained these procedures to you time and time again, so you have to start doing them, you know? I can't keep coming back to the same thing all the time, so you have to get with it, and you have to do them. Well, I tried my best. There's a lot to remember. I think Carrie could have waited until I was done dealing on the game, and then she could politely take me to the side and tell me, instead of doing it in front of other people. Other pit bosses sometimes are a little more gentle, and they understand that people make mistakes, and they're a little more corrective in a polite way of doing it. It's not that much to remember, because everything has to be neat. That's all you have to remember, is being neat and being professional. Pit boss Jim doesn't like Carrie's style. You're a little hard on him for some reason. I suppose. Oh, really? Yeah. Go to your own section. <laughs> go to your own section. Uh, this is Mark. Our, this is our casino. Will you tell him to go to his own section? How long have you been together now? Oh, Mary. Uh, he'd be dead by now. You want to be my third ex-wife? Jim and I kibitz a lot. I don't pay any attention to him. I've been in the business longer than him, so I don't pay no attention to him. Ignoring management. Carrie continues to do things her way. Glenn is giving cowgirl Jana a chance to be a supervisor. Today, she'll shadow pit boss Jim. Are you training me today? Oh, that's what I hear. OK. Well, it's not as easy as it looks. You have a lot of responsibilities. Oh, we're going to check the racks. You don't need, no, no, the racks on the table. I like the fact that Jana is her own person. She just needs a little bit of guiding influence, I think. She pushes the envelope, and I, I don't mind people that do that. You save it, add new player, gives you a number. We're going to look at this table and see how the players are doing, how the table is doing. you got to maintain the bank and make sure you have enough chips. So we'll check the count here. This is very important that you maintain it. Yeah. A supervisor monitors up to eight tables, watches over the casino's money, motivates dealers, settles disputes, and places a special emphasis on the casino's motto, the customer is king. Are 
Are you single? It doesn't take much for Jenna's attention to drift. Okay, smash. Cheese. Okay, we cannot have phones. That's for my mom. Your mom? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Okay, one thing you can't do, even while you're training, is text. It is a very responsible job. Several games to watch, several deals to watch. You've got multiple amount of players to watch. I want to try and see what it takes to move up and see if, see if I really want it, I guess. Don't you touch your cart. Veteran supervisor Carrie is under scrutiny after a number of complaints about her style. Hi, Dan. How are you? Management is forced to step in. Miss Carrie, how are you doing? I'm doing you, fine. How are you? You doing all right? I'm going to get Carlos to uh, come over and take the pen. Let's go visit a little bit, all right? If any employee continually rubs people the wrong way, we take the, the, the necessary disciplinary steps and then a suspension, pending investigation. And myself and the HR director will take a look at that. All right, Miss Carrie, remember how the old days? Remember when we was broke, broke in or something? It was just, you know, the, the, the business was so different. You know, we had the, the hardcore, we had the people that would not kick us in the shin on the dealing side of it or something. Remember those days? Well, those days are a little different now. It seems like dealers now, it seems like what they want now is more customer service. It's kind of more of a, a, a carnival atmosphere than it was just real strictly business. Following me a little bit? Or? I follow exactly what you're saying, but I think there has to be a balance of both. You know, you still have to have some control and make sure that procedures and, and game protection and all that is correct and still yet be friendly with the customers. So you have to have a balance between the two. You can't just all be all happy and smiley and let everything else go to. Carrie, what I'm asking you to do is just kind of, uh, uh, not like the old days, it's just, it just not be so hard on them. You just can't, you, you, just, you just can't come down on them that hard. Zadinia, can you do it? In a lot of ways, the old ways were really good because you learned the right way. These kids aren't learning the right way because you're too soft with them and therefore they go, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And then they turn around and do it, whatever they're doing and you don't like it. Mm. I don't think either one of us have a choice. I think that's the direction it's going in and that's the direction it's gonna be. No choice. Not really. Does that mean an okay or that means you're thinking about it? So you think that I need to change? Yes. From everything I've learned, from everything that I am. Or get left behind. What does it do? And that's up to you. The confrontation with Ron surely upset me a little bit. If somebody doesn't like the way you do something, you know, they can get rid of you and they've got somebody else and right behind you. He was trying to make a point and he made it. All right, are we done? Yeah, we're done. Carrie has to make a choice. Either she changes or the decision will be made for her. I think it's his place to direct me as far as my job performance, but I don't think it's his place to tell me to be a different person. Because I am who I am. We're gonna look at this table and see how the players are doing. After shadowing Jim, Trainee Jana steps out as a supervisor for the first time. Right away, she has to deal with an angry customer. He's taking out his losing streak on Cowgirl Allegra. There is a degree of tolerance as far as what people do and what we not allow them to do. Loud, abusive language won't be tolerated. In the cowgirls. Maybe you should be more into your girlfriend. I love my girlfriend. I'm, I'm, I'm... Maybe you should show it. Hey, there's nothing wrong with her. Yeah. Be a little nicer. You're at my table. As a supervisor, Jana keeps her cool. People are gonna get upset, and Allegra knows that. You know, she's. This isn't the first time it's happened. It's not gonna be the last. Don't tell me I've had enough. I think you should give me another one. So do you just always let him talk to you like this? Hey, who is she to you? Honestly, who the f is she to you? The drunk gambler is coming close to Binion's tolerance level. 
Jana holds tight. You are terrible. Oh, and terrible. And this think... is the worst I've ever oh, played. Oh, no, no, no. And you Look, think you could do a better back job? Back up. You suck. Unable to control an aggressive customer, trainee supervisor Jana has left Allegra to fend for herself. I can't physically make a guy leave. Instead, she hands him a pamphlet on anger management. It says, this casino sucks. Bitch, what did I say? All right, that's enough. You're done. Don't deal any yeah. hands after this, okay. all right? Okay. He was refusing to leave, so we had to have, have Mark come in, the shift manager. No, hell no, I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going until I hear the, the, the owner of Binion's, I ain't going nowhere. Hey, what's going on? I'm just calling her a bitch. Ooh. Yeah, and first off, yeah. first off, we can't disrespect the dealers, okay? She sucks. Hey, well, you, I'm the guy that can have you exported out of here right now. Where's the security? You have no action. Jana's inability to defuse the situation is a disappointment to management. Knowing Janice's personality and the way she is, she doesn't look, usually doesn't take any shit off anybody. And she kind of backed down and had to call for help. And, I, and, you know, I would like to have seen her be able to step up and handle that a little bit better. Time to go somewhere else. There you go. This sucks. You suck. I'm out of here. I ain't playing it no more. Y'all never see me again. Don't you touch your cards? Okay, now you can touch the cards. Now! Binion's has given Carrie an ultimatum. Improve her customer service. Then we're done. Or else. So you think that I need to change it? Or get left behind. I imagine she has some uh, challenges inside her uh, trying to adapt to the new philosophy. So Ron encourages Carrie to reveal her softer side. Well, I'll tell you what, I've got it all set up for you. On uh, 35 over here, the ladies, I'm telling you, I got them primed for you. All you got to do is go in there and there for the kill. They're having a great time and go in there and show your charm. Can you do this? Can I do it? Never mind. Bad question. Yes, you can. I know Thank you can. You. Thank you. Thank you. She's worth the effort. She's worth the effort to try to bring her around as far as the customer service aspect of it because of her knowledge. Where do you ladies stand? Caesars. Caesars? Yes. Whoa. Well, I don't know about that. This is where the fun is, though. Under a lot of pressure, Carrie does what she's told. She'll either adapt to it or she won't. There's no doubt about that. I am good at what I do. After one day of training, Jana is ready for a drink. What is this? Pink lemonade. Do you want some? It's not pink lemonade. I can smell it from here. If you want to come pink back lemonade. here, if you want to come back here and learn some more, I'll be happy to teach you. But as of now, I think you ought to just stick to dealing. With the cowgirls. With the cowgirls. I'm young. I want to have fun. I live in Las Vegas, you know. Bye. All right. See you soon. Jana's uh, position to be a supervisor will uh, never come about. <laughs> she, I don't think she'd like it. I think she'd be bored from it, and it's totally different than uh, dealing. Boring. I would get in so much trouble just because I'd be so bored. Until I'm ready to move up for real. There's no way. You're doing great. Thank you. All right. But Carrie's decided to embrace the attitude adjustment. She'll leave when she's ready. But I'm 64, you know. When I turn 70, I'll retire. Okay? I'm not retiring before then. <laughs> and Jana, she gets back to her usual role, partying with the cowgirls. Me? No. 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 Your boobies, booby, booby, booby. No boobies. Only one 
person's gonna be picked for the cover of the Binion's Count Row calendar. You think we're gonna be ready by uh, tomorrow? Predict. My ass is on the line with this. Yeah. Well, shut up. My shut up. You shut up. You shut up. Binion's, 60 years and going strong. A big part of their recent success lies in their not-so-secret weapon, the cowgirls. Like Jana, the happy-go-lucky small-town girl. Come on in, guys. Jessica, tough-as-nails dealer. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. You either fit in or you go. And Roxy, the feisty single mom. What makes you think I would want to get down with you? Are you kidding me? Oh, really? Since their introduction three years ago, the casino has featured the cowgirls in the annual Binion's calendar. Hi, ladies. <laughs> a lot of people feel like they're taking a little bit of the casino back home with them when they purchase Binion's calendar. It's been seen the world over, and every cowgirl wants her face on the front cover. Hey, we're going to be looking for girls to be on the cover of the next year's Binion's cowgirl calendar. Only one person's gonna be picked for the cover. The competition can be good for, for staff and for the morale if it's done properly and it's done fairly. The cover girl hopefuls include Corey, the former model. I 100% want it. I feel like I have the confidence and the, the experience and um, good qualities to uh, win this competition. And, you know, one of us has to win, and we'll see. Country girl Mia. The calendar will get my face out there. It will elevate my career because the more you're out there, the more people want you. And the underdog, Allegra. This competition is really important for me because I've never really won anything in my life, ever. Um, and I just really want to know what it feels like to win. On the casino floor, security supervisor Dorothy gets a call about a customer accused of stealing a drink. Copy, 85. I gotta go, he's got something going on at the East Front Bar. What's going on? I, uh, I was sitting playing some video poker and I said that drink on the chair next to me and he got mad. He what? I was playing video poker and I was a drink. Drink for, no, I said a drink right. next to me on the chair. Can I see your ID? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm because serious. Because I said a f***ing drink next How about you not talk to me like that? Well, how about you just f***ing escort me out of your How about I just hack off you and put you in the, in the you. I f***ing over there playing. What's Okay, stop talking. spitting in my face. I'm not spitting your yeah, You're spitting in my face. Don't talk to me like that. The abuse of drunk is a disruption to the casino. Adam, to the control. We got one going to ASO. Let's go. Fearing the situation might escalate, security wants him out. Sorry, shut up. Shut up. You shut up. The troublemaker's friend arrives thinking he can resolve the situation. You need to take a hike. Uh, no, you don't. You need to go. Think be wrong. This is private property. I do nothing. I said I understand it. understand that. You need to leave. Go on break. All right. Over in the party pit, cowgirl Allegra starts her shift with a rowdy table. That's right. What do you want? Oh! oh she bleeds. <laughs> She's human. She's, She's not a machine. She's not a man machine. As their cards turn cold, the gamblers turn up the heat on Allegra. Here we go. Oh! Good dealer. Break Take time. Take it her break time yet again. Break time. What do you think about boob jobs? Do you like them? Allegra confronts the obnoxious player. What are you trying to say? I don't have boobs? It's inappropriate, but I just kind of let it go, just because I, you know, I'm here to do my job, then I understand that they're trying to have fun. What about butt jobs? About what? Like a butt implant. <laughs> I have an ass, I have an implant. <laughs> it tends to kind of get to a point where it's not funny anymore. It's just redundant and stupid, and it's like they're just trying to make fun of me. We call you tear top from now on? Why? Well, your, your boobies, like your tear tops. That's her name, yeah, no, no bus. bus. No bus tear time. No, no bus, bus tear time. Good from far, 
but far from good. Ah. Yeah, I understand. I have small boobs. I get it. Thanks. Hey, Tiny Tots, can you call the, uh, the waitress? I'm here to make money, but I'm not here to get busted out by no boss McGee. That's what they hire around here, no boss. The mean-spirited players draw the attention of Allegra's boss. That's enough. What do you say? No, no, no. a bust. That dumb man, I like to take the connotation, no. No, it's, it's, it's young lady. I don't know where you guys are from or how you was raised, but the bottom line is no. We're calling her tater time. We're not making fun of her boobs. We're just calling her tater time. You're what? done. Why? Right. That's enough. You guys want to play? You're done. He goes, we go, Ron. Yeah. Our money goes with him, Ron. I'm with him. Go ahead. Have a nice day. There. Customer service yeah. skill. Unbelievable. Oh, well. I know you're customer service. I know you want to play. We want them to play. But the minute they cross the line, they're going to keep going and going, and they're going to chime in. This guy, and all of a sudden, this guy, and this guy, and they're all going to just start chiming in, chiming in, and you see what happens. Right. You know, one goes, they all go. We probably could have caught it a little earlier, and maybe I could have just calmed the one guy down instead of everybody chiming in. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. Security officer Dorothy detains an abusive customer while she checks with Las Vegas police to see if he has any outstanding warrants. Hi, this is Binion Security, Dorothy Justino. I'd like to check somebody for warrants, please. OK, thank you. OK, bye. All righty. He doesn't have any warrants, unfortunately, because uh, I think he deserves a night in jail. We're going to read him the trespass warning, and then he can go. If he comes back on property here or Fort Queen, oh, he's going to be going here. to jail. Good, because you're not welcomed here. Face the camera. Yeah, sure. You're acting like a child. I oh, don't worry. Camera. I ain't going to come back in your casino you know, again. Good, because you're not welcomed here. The drunk's friend is waiting outside and refusing to go quietly. National TV. Give a You're going to walk off either. You want to go in handcuffs too? No, I don't, sir. That's how start walking. America! Yeah! The are you going to do, bitch? Come back up here. Rent a cop, bitch! What? You know what? We could take you right here. You want to get pepper sprayed? A rough night for Dorothy. Yeah, Hopefully the, the rest of the night it goes smooth. <laughs> yeah. I'm a big boss at the Binion's Club. As usual, Carlos makes his rounds, like trying to impress the ladies. It's my Masonic ring. I like it. You're welcome. your nail? Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you want me to pitching? Uh, would you like the lady to put the cards on the table better instead of pitching? Yeah, that would be great. Just put them in the table better, okay? okay? All right, good luck, okay? We don't do that for everybody, but Thank you. just for you. <laughs> Special. <laughs> you meet so many people in this business. Do me a favor, don't look at me like that. Please. I am a married man, okay? <laughs> Please. Yes, you are. Okay, let's do this. When you want a card, you do, I don't know how, but do this. When you want a card. Okay, I'm going to do this yes. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And when you don't want a card, then you do like this. Okay. Open hand. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> we like people to be happy. And they're good entertainers, let's face it. They give everybody stuff to see them. They are so thick and good. I've been growing up for nine years. I have, I have, I have. Five. 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 Across town, a select group of casino hotshots have been invited to the Cosmopolitan Hotel for the unveiling of a new card game. Please pick a card. 
Card game developer Jeff Hall has set up a friendly tournament to gather feedback from the experts. Um, ideally, I want to get some managers to come along, have a few drinks, have a party, listen to some music, but ultimately to give my new game a chance, give it a little, a little go, play it, play it for fun, and hopefully following that, I may end up with one or two installations into the Las Vegas market. Glenn, Binion's director of casino operations, is one of the guests. I've got a little fun table in there. I've got two great girls dealing it. I've got most people down in this tournament. I've, I've put you down because I want you to at least give it a shot. So uh, yeah. try it out and see what you think. I think you surprise yourself when you try it. So. Okay. Las Vegas is a tough sell. Nobody really wants to experiment now and try something new. Anytime you bring in a new game, you're giving up square footage to a game that is unproven and you're unsure of. It's always a concern, especially in these types of economic times. Burn 20 is a new variation on blackjack. Can I double down after I split? Yes, and you can double down on any number of cards after you split. Even so. after I split? Yes. Okay. There you go. <laughs> That'll work. Whoa. 22. Oh. You know something? I, I wasn't so sure of this game, but you know what? I'm starting to like it. That, that, that 22 is pretty effective, isn't it? After a while. Sure is. Go down. Hello. Binions has hired Las Vegas fashion photographer Zoltan. Okay, push it, push it, push it. That's it. To shoot the perfect cover for the cowgirl calendar. Thank you. Cowgirl Corey's session gets underway on Binion's rooftop. I have um, many years of experience with the cameras and modeling. Needing to look just right to win the cover, she brings her own makeup artist. Good, okay, yeah. Be sexy, hello. Curves go down a little bit, okay. That's it, thank you. Hello, yes. Thank you. Booby time, hello. Smile, smile, I love your smile, give me your smile. So what do you think, you're gonna win, win this? Well, huh? I say I got a shot. <laughs> Jeff wants Binion's business, so he brings Glenn his new card game. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're still a little, yeah. you're still five minutes late. Thanks, sir, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> It's his last chance for the hard sell. You're not saying to players, don't play blackjack. You're saying, yeah, you can play blackjack, but you can play burn 20 blackjack as well. Glenn's still not convinced. He likes the game, but it's a big risk. Vegas, Vegas. In a casino, it's all about maximizing square footage. The wrong decision could cost the casino hundreds of dollars per square foot. And blackjack is the most profitable table game so Binion's doesn't want to mess with a proven winner. Now, uh, you got to be kidding. The numbers work on this? Yeah. I've got a responsibility to the owner and to the general manager here to make sure that the games I put on will at least bring in additional play. I'll have to double check these procedures and, and the math sure. and everything else and see what happens. I don't jump in anything, and I always like to go over the numbers of any new game that comes down the pike. Binion's is in the process of restoring the old hotel to its former glory, and they've redecorated one of the rooms into a model suite. The perfect place for Allegra to strut her stuff for the cowgirl calendar. I've been doing modeling since I was about 16. It's fun to be competitive. Suitably dressed and all dolled up, Allegra's ready for Zoltan. Smile, smile but he may not be ready for her. Let's call it right now, just we're gonna call this sexy time. With a flash of the camera, Allegra transforms into a model with an attitude. So can we do some sexy thing? Can you all go on your bed? No. No? No. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we'll see. Allegra, she doesn't listen. She thinks whatever she does, that's okay. That's the, that's the best. But you have to listen. You know, I'm, I'm the professional photographer here. She may not be listening, but when Allegra turns it on, she's a supermodel. No. no. See the boobies. Hello. Let's not. See the boobies. That's not you? Let's not. See it's the boobies. It's only me? Huh? 
Huh? That's all in me, huh? What? You don't get no boobies. Okay. Just look down, just look down. How about your boobies? Booby, booby, booby. No down. boobies. Hello. No. Just a little bit. Just one. No, honey. It's the trial run of the new blackjack game, Burn 20. With the gaming control board set to approve it in less than 48 hours, there's little time for the dealers to learn the rules. Teaching Burn 20 blackjack to the staff, I don't think will be that difficult because it is still a standard blackjack game and it'll just be kind of making that slight adjustment. You have turned a losing hand into a winning hand. You know, that's a big pull on the game. There's many, you know, if you have this too, a little bit the complicated. Do you I want one or two to deal a hand out where I put give, give them a ten yeah, up? Give it a yeah. try. Okay, who do you want to um doesn't matter. Okay. Come, on, come on, come on. Come on in. Give it a try. Quan's always first. I think, yeah. When we're testing a new game, we like to get our best blackjack dealers to try it out, and Quan's one of our better blackjack dealers, so I'm hoping she'll pick it up quickly. No, no, no. Oh. This is your second card, I mean. <laughs> That's your second card. Okay. Okay. Uh, I got blackjack. Now, go. Careful. Now, this is the difference. Stop a minute. That's not suited, is it? Oh. So, this is blackjack. So, what you would do is take everybody's money. This, you don't that's have called to. unsuited. Unsuited, isn't it? Oh. You need club, club, or spade, spade. Oh, okay. And you play it just like you normally would. Oh, blackjack. okay. It's two cards of that. Burn Watching it. as his top dealer becomes confused by the game. It's evident Glenn is taking a huge risk. Okay, now I got it. Quan's one of our better dealers overall. She's one of our better 21 dealers, and she can also deal pretty much every other game. And that's that's what really has me concerned. Do you think we're going to be ready? I'm pretty sure we're going to be ready. I just think that uh, the first time I've taught this, it's going to have a few teething problems. I'm learning from the, the feedback from, from the it. players. Yeah. You know, my ass is on the line with this. Yeah, sure. Because you know, sure. we're taking it away. And uh, I really had to do some convincing to get them to put this in. So. I'm going to be on hand anyway when it goes live as well. OK, but, good enough. Thanks. Photographer Zoltan completes his calendar shoot. Where do you get all your energy from? What do you have for breakfast? Yeah. <laughs> on the casino floor with cowgirl Mia. Just be yourself. That's it, that's it. Be more sexy. That's it. Mia, she was great. I have to get, get that contact. And then after that, she was working like, like a professional. We got that connection, what, what I always like. Like that the connection, like tam, tam, tam. And you know, just, you, you're not thinking, you're just doing. Big smile. The other cowgirls are less than impressed. Mia is not worried. I got the full package, and I'm going to win because I'm the best. It's showtime for Glenn and card game developer Jeff. The Nevada State Gaming Control Board agent Janae Brunette has arrived to see if Burn 20 is ready to go. It's always a bit nervous when Nevada Gaming are coming in. It's a new game. Hello. Hi. Glenn. Glenn. Glenn, nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. I'm Janae Brunette with the Nevada State Gaming Control Board. Here's Thank that. you. And here's that. OK, yes. I want the game to be deemed acceptable by Nevada Gaming. OK, so who's going to be our first dealer? Uh, we're going to use Bill and Billy. Come on over, please. Actually. All right, well, okay, let's let it go. go. This is the only time that I get to gamble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is fun for me. Yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah that see you next dealer. Juan, come on over, please. Oh, 22. Yeah, see, you got 22. Uh, you lose. Okay, one more hand. Okay, let's see what we got. I'm happy with that. I got Atta girl. That. Everybody yeah. wins. Everybody yeah. wins. Awesome. Okay. Very okay. good. Very good. All set. Okay. So um, after I leave, you're free to open up the game. Okay. And uh, we're good to go. That looks like With Burn 20 on the casino floor. Yeah, you got it, Leva. It's now up to the players to decide if the game is a success. You got it. I got 20. This is fastly becoming my favorite casino game. When you're burning 20s, that's not a horrible thing. Oh, here we go again. Glenn's happy, but he's got bosses to convince as well. 
actually the test went very well. Did it? It, it really, it really did. I was pleasantly surprised with the dealers and everything else. I'm uh, very optimistic. We just got to keep a close eye on it because if it kind of is beating us up a little bit or not doing what we need, we're going to have to react. Exactly. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I won't hesitate to react, but uh, I'll monitor it closely and make okay. sure that uh, everything's going uh, the way we need it to go. Good. Not Perfect. Okay. All right, let me go watch the game and I'll chat okay. with you later. Thanks. Right? Appreciate it. Cheeseburger later on. Oh, yeah. Okay. The time has arrived to reveal the Binion's calendar cover girl. Hey guys, so I heard the new calendar's out. We should go check it out. Oh, okay, come on, sure. The winner is... Oh, hell no. Really? Allegra. That is so horrible. It should have been me. Well, it's not. When I saw my face on the calendar, I was very excited, very happy. I just don't think Allegra has the look of a model. I mean, she's just kind of, you know, plain, so. She's very cute, she's very good with the customers. Uh, she's got a pretty smile, so. All that stuff went into factoring uh, how we chose who was going to be on the cover. Kind of get in the room, so I just change on the floor. I was pretty much done right then. What the f***? Leave him out, Lou. Leave him out. No, he's no, done. He's done, Lou. Go on, security. You're out. Okay, You're just out. let me catch it. You're done, dude. It looks like there's a, a taste of blood in the air, and it's going to be mine. You got this pompous ass uh, attitude. If it's going to be a boxing match up there, nothing's going to work. Binion's in downtown Vegas employs more than 550 staff. What's everybody doing here today? Go, make that, raise that game up. One, two, three. To survive and succeed in this business, you need to change. There's always changes that have to come along. <laughs> Working with so many different personalities. I'm Carlos, man. I'm a pit boss. Can be a challenge. My philosophy is to uh, surround myself with people that think like me. People like shift manager Ron. Thank you. He's been with Glenn for more than two years. Tonight, his evening isn't getting off to the best start. One of his dealers hasn't shown up. It looks like you're short. Are you short a dealer? Yeah. Well, yeah girl. well let me tell you who it is. It's Janet. It's Janet? What's up with that? Cowgirl Jana is one of Binion's most popular dealers. I got this. They said no drinking. Way better when it's hot. But her attitude towards work is testing everyone's patience. Have you had she call in or anything? No, nope. I hadn't heard from her. She's going to be at 7 30, it's 8 o'clock now. She's not even showing up for work? I don't want to close the game down because of her. I don't... We're not going to close the game. Never have to. No. Keep me posted on that, all right? All right, I'll call you on it. Thanks. And we are ready to roll on the uh, big party chef. Restaurant manager Albert is also a concern for management. Binion Steakhouse has featured the same steak selection since it opened almost 40 years ago. Albert doesn't like change. But Glenn needs the restaurant to appeal to new and younger customers, as well as the current clientele. The two have clashed over this issue before. Just do what I ask and try to get I'll, I'll work on it. I'll work on it. No, well, like we're going to make it happen. I can't see us finding a common ground at present. Glenn insisted that Albert relax the dress code, and now he wants to dress up the menu. Yes, I know. It's a steakhouse. It's a steak and potatoes. I get that. But you know what? I, I think we need to add a little bit more pizzazz, something a little bit different, something a little bit new. The powers of be have forced my hand to make changes here that I am a present not in favor of. Don't be afraid of change, you know, and we and we got to change a little bit. I don't want to drive the steakhouse into the ground and end up with a change in my bucket. I'm not talking about driving the steakhouse into the ground. I'm trying something different. Glenn decides to audition a rookie chef to spice up the menu. I met this new chef, Gerald. He comes with a good reputation. He's got some good ideas. I think he could add a little spice to the... The last thing we need is spice to our... Uh, Classic 
items upstairs in the wow. steakhouse. We want to keep it just as it has been, 38 years. You want to press on, you want the kids coming through. I don't see it's going to work. Well, I want you to give this guy a chance. The powers that be are OK with this, so let's, let's do it. So the bottom line is I have no choice, and I'm running the place. The bottom line is you're running the restaurant, I'm running the place. Sorry to take up th this much of your time. Right? Oh, right. I'll be here at 11 o'clock. Thank you. Shift manager Ron has been waiting 40 minutes for cowgirl Janet to show up for work. You know what time you're supposed to be here? 7.30. I know, but it's I It's 10 minutes late. after 8. Well, and call, I, I, a flat tire, or what? I just woke up late. You know who just walked through? Glenn walks through, and he looks around. He knows exactly what's going on here. He looks and sees there's a cowgirl missing. I'm human. I'm going to make mistakes. It's not that big. It's not the end of the world. But you just kind of just kind of shun it off like it's not a big deal. Yeah, because they come in late, too. I mean, it's going to happen. You need to let us know when you're going to be late, how long you're going to be late, where I can fix this road map in, in order that your team members won't be stuck in the game. Your uniform. Do you have your uniform? Yeah, it's, it's right here. Well, look. See, it's right here. Go ahead. You know, go upstairs, get dressed. Well, do you have the key? I can't even get in the room. There's nobody up there. I'll go look for it. No, uh, maybe one of the other cowgirls will get one. If you can't get up, if you can't get a room, come back and see me. Okay. They stress out about the stupidest little things. I'm human. I'm late. Everybody's been late to work before. It's a very common thing. It's not something that I do every day. I'm late. What, what do you want from me? What can I do about it? Jana doesn't look like she's focused on the business at all, or her job. Again, we'll see what happens when she comes back downstairs. I don't, I'm don't. i not sure if I'm going to send her home or use her. I really don't know. Albert opposes any change to the restaurant menu, so Glenn asks General Manager Tim to mediate. No, Albert, it's, you keep fighting me. You don't seem to be open-minded about anything here. I mean, why can't we make something work with bringing Gerald in on this deal and, and having a little more variety into our, our menu? What's the big problem? This is, as far as I can see, gentlemen, a stupid idea, a loser. End, End why, of case. Why would you just make a blanket statement like that, that it's a stupid idea? Why, why aren't you willing to look at all aspects of what we're trying to do here? Because you guys are toying, and, and it's the old adage, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Are you 100% capacity every night? Uh, I'm not sure. No. It's a pretty good question, yeah, but it, uh, we're doing well. I'm not saying we're not doing well. Can we do better? I know there's potential for that room to do better. There's just no doubt about it. If they, you guys can't figure out how to make this thing work, I'll come up there and make it work. But if I have to come up there and make it work, there's going to be changes. Right now, I think Gerald comes highly recommended, and I take that very seriously, and I think it's worth a shot. My boss says the executive board want to change, not in midstream, but start in a new direction. Chalk me down against it. This isn't over yet, and uh, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna push back because you know he doesn't want to change, but he's got to change, and that's the end of the story. How you doing, sir? Gerald, how are you? I'm Albert Steele. Restaurant manager Albert has been ordered to give new chef Gerald a shot in the kitchen but it has to be on Albert's terms. Mr. Glenn is our director of casino operations. He said you're going to be a star in this business. Uh, is he exaggerating? No, nah, he's not exaggerating. Why is he telling me that? You know, I just bring excitement and fire into the kitchen. Well, we got the fire, so we need you to bring the excitement and the charisma. Two, three hundred people a night. That's no problem. We want to cook the steaks medium, medium rare, however they like it, just to perfection. Mm -hmm. Give a lovely baked potato, a little vegetable garni. So you're going to translate that into our old food or bring new food with you? Take your old food and revamp it into something new. Okay, how about we give you some steaks, mm -hmm. you go to the kitchen and give us the show. Game time? Bring it on, my friends. Here you go. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna take a little paprika, some black pepper. Gerald learned to cook from his grandmother. His talent and passion for food is what got him out of South Central LA. Taking different things and making flavors out of them is good. And sometimes it's good to just go with simplicity because it's the simplest things that taste the best most of the time. One of the restaurant's chefs, Edmund, keeps a close eye on Gerald's work. Oh, what temperature are you cooking it? I'm going to take this one to a medium. I'm 
I'm curious so. to taste it. It's, it's, it's his own creation, so I'm kind of anticipating here to see exactly what he's going to do. It looks like a very good steak. I need to taste that steak. That's actually good. Okay. Yeah, it's actually good. I appreciate that. Gerald has the kitchen's approval, but the steak has to exceed Albert's expectations. Gerald, how are you doing, my friend? I'm good, Mr. Albert. Here's uh, Excellent. your choice, and this is my choice. OK, let's just check it out. Excellent. Hmm. Nothing can go wrong with a lovely piece of beef like that. Excellent. Unbeatable. Now, what do we have on here? Well, we have a blackened ribeye, some paprika, black pepper, garlic salt to give it a little flavor. Well, let's see how it works out. I took a big bite, and that was dangerous because it's very, very spicy. I mean, sometimes you got to live on the edge. I live on the edge when I cross the road here in Las Vegas. Yeah. I don't live on the edge when I'm eating dining. I don't mean to be insulting. It's an excellent uh, product, right. but not for us, my friend. But everybody needs a little spice in their life. Did you bring a cell phone? I got to call the fire brigade to put out this fire, my friend. Too spicy for our crowd. You're a talented guy. We can leave it at that. But um, if anything comes up and you want to take a second chance and try to jump out there on the edge, you know, just let me know. You be the man. All right. OK, props, my friend. Thank you. Thanks. You have a good one. Thanks very much. It's one steak, and he's out, as far as Albert is concerned. Gerald, I would say, has a great, great, great potential. Regrettably, not for our type of restaurants. After arriving late, Jana gets changed on the casino floor. Finally, she reports in to shift manager, Ron. Ron! So, I couldn't get in the room, so I just changed on the floor. I don't have my boots. Where on the floor? I mean, you were... I was behind a machine. I mean, only a few people saw it, it's OK. You want to be fair with all your team members, but I was almost speechless when she told me the fact that she changed her uniform on the casino floor. I was pretty much done right then. All right. Let me tell you what we're going to do this time. Do you just let me go home? Because I, I could go out. I mean, my friends are at the bar. Just... That's a good idea. Why don't you do that? Just go home? Yeah, why don't you do that? Go to the bar? Really? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Ken. Now, tomorrow's my birthday, so do you think I could have tomorrow off, too? No. Maybe? Ron is not happy with me right now. I guess changing on the casino floor is a, a no-no. Oh, well, he'll get over it. It's, like I said, there's so many other things he has to worry about. This is, this is Paquito. <laughs> Have a good evening. Thank you. You're off. Well, I mean, You're maybe off. think about tomorrow. Maybe I'll call you at, like, 9, maybe? You're off. I'll see you tomorrow at 10.30. All right, see you. As Jana heads off to the bar, Ron gets back to work. Oh, come on now. Carefully watching the tables, looking for any sign of trouble. You are aware of everything going on, any loud noises or anything like that. You can look from a distance and see the uh, attitude of a table people are playing, be it how they dress, the liquor consumption on, on the game itself. If you're going to have a rough area, you know, you're aware of that before it happens. Ron turns his attention to a blackjack table and a potential problem. We, we all get along here, but except for when he takes our money, and then oh, we get angry. Oh, we got You have to pay. What if I want to play two hands? Can I play $10 two? $10 minimum, you have to play $20 here. But it's a $10 yeah. minimum. Can I play two or 10 No, 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 no. You can't play oh. two I'm just having fun. Oh, no, 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 no. Once a player places a bet, they can't touch their chips until they win, a golden rule of the casino. Just give, keep giving me 21 so we won't have any trouble. You OK? Yeah. A little bit of a pain in the ass, Ron, but uh, he's not a happy camper. Maybe he's been losing. What do you want? Well, you need another red check. That would be $10. Have one, two in a row. No, 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 you don't want to. You're not going to touch your checks like that. But what the f Jim was a disruptive player. Moving his bets around, loud talking. His hands were close to his money. Oh, don't tip. Come on, we haven't won anything yet. How are you going to tip before we win? And at that stage, he was involving the other uh, players at the time, uh, telling them what to do, how to play. What he was trying to do, in my mind, was uh, just trying to get us off kilter, trying to run the show. 
why, why, why'd you let the extra five on there, man? No, nah, it's up to you, sir. It's up to you. Go ahead and Does that hand, five Louis. count? I like. I, I must have seen a three. Come on. That's enough. Uh, Deal him out, Louie. I'll be honest. Right. Deal him out, Louie. You're dealing him out. I didn't know they let people win here. When he gets to the point that the octave is so high that it's maybe disturbing people around him, anything can happen. Deal him out, Louie. Deal him out. No, he's done. We're he's fine. done, Louie. He's done, Louie. Well, get your we're checks. Just, Pick up your checks. Pick playing. up your I'm checks. Come right over here. Pick up your checks. Deal him out, Louie. Come on. Come on. I was just about to start going. Like the, the game was just getting started. No, nah, let me on? tell you something. No, nah, let me tell you something. Come on, man. Just it doesn't matter. You know how to play. I saw you in here the other day. You know how to yeah. play. You're just messing around. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what you're doing. Come on. There's 18 casinos. There's four people in here. That, you're right. There's a lot more casinos like, than this. You're out of here. Nah, come on. Come I'm on, calling security. You're out. Yeah, you're out. Like, you're done, dude. You you're done, dude. Before? You can't reason with them. They're not looking in eye contact. If you notice him, and he was looking all everywhere, everywhere, but but to me. So anything that I was saying to him, he was not going to absorb it. So that's the reason I pulled the trigger on him. Enough's enough. He's out of here. Well, let's see how it works out. Did you bring a cell phone? I'm going to call the fire brigade to put out this fire, my friend. Albert only gave potential chef Gerald one chance to impress with his spicy steak. That's not exactly the trial period management had in mind. Round two. I want you to move forward and give him the opportunity to succeed. He will not succeed unless you embrace him. Um, if it's gonna be a, a, a boxing match up there, nothing's gonna work and it's gonna fail. You need to give him that. I expect you to do it. You're a professional. You've been doing this for years. Uh, if things don't work out because of everything you are putting on my shoulders, it looks like there's a, a taste of, of blood in the air and it's gonna be mine and I'm gonna be out the door, is that correct? After all the years I put in here? Obviously, uh, you, you have zero respect for me. You got, you got this pompous no, no, ass no, no, attitude. No, 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 yeah, no, you no, got this get, pompous no, no. ass Let attitude. Let me tell you like it is. You always stick your nose up at everybody no, 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 else no, no, that has no, no, anything no. else to say. I'm defending my territory. If it doesn't work, fine, we back off. And I've had enough, guys. I mean, we're sitting here going back and forth. I'm too right. busy for this. Okay. Either get it done, or I'll do it myself. I'll, I'll start getting it done, and if it's not working out, you let me know. Absolutely. But if it doesn't work out, don't blame me. Man, I got a little problem here, boss. I've got, uh, well, I've got one game open in this cowgirl pit, and I've got uh, three dead games, I got, and I got uh, people standing around wanting to play. No, I, okay, I'll wait on you. Okay, bye. For the second night running, cowgirl Janet is late for work. How you guys doing, all right? Buddy, all right? All right, good, glad to have you. Thank you. I get paid for saying that, but I mean it this time. I really do. I'm paying you for saying that. Well, yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Good luck, folks. Thank you. What the hell's going on? Uh, it's, uh, look at two dead games. We got four cowgirls that I haven't seen them, I have not seen them. How is it that it's a Friday night and we've only got one cowgirl showing up? Well, I mean, what the hell's going on here? Is one of them Janet? One of them's Janet. Yep. Janet's and she one was of late them. last night, right? Late last night. I sent her home because of her attitude. You sent her home? I sent her home last night. Okay. Yep. She had an attitude about being, yep. why Why'd she have an attitude about well, that? Well, she didn't realize, she said, oh, well, is it that big a deal that I'm 40 minutes late? And then I explained it to her. And yeah. It, yeah, and she kind of threw her hands up. And so up then, then they're going to decide they're not going to show up tonight? I went about to put her on the floor. Crew, right? Yeah, she said it was her birthday. And she wanted the night off? Yes. Because it was her birthday? Yeah. So I guarantee you those girls are all out partying somewhere. Lynn is a guy that you don't want to make mad. But it looks like there's a group of them. And I imagine when Glenn walks through the door, there's going to be a lot of surprises, I imagine. A lot of surprises. Do you have any idea where Jana is? Um, she went over to Calico Jacks. The bar over on Charleston? Yeah. OK. All right. Thanks. Thank you. All medium? Yep. Got it. After much debate, Gerald is back in the kitchen. And tonight, he's put some of his recipes on the menu. He's determined to prove Albert wrong about his style of cooking. I never go into the kitchen trying to be bullheaded or arrogant, but if they're wrong, it's always best to call people out on it. We have a chef that we are working with, and he's going to spice it up a little bit. I like a bit of spice. You like a bit of spice like in your life? Spice, yeah. yes. To get a call back or even get a chance to go back into something and show that you actually have it is like, it's a pleasure. It's, it just shows that you have something that somebody's looking for. We are ready for you, Vlad. Come this way for you, please. Thank you.
hope it's not too spicy. You know, it's Cajun style. Not too spicy, no. It's really good. good. Very good. Really. This has a kick to it, and I really like it with my wine. It's so good. That's amazing. Thank you. Just right about spots. I think I did good. I got good feedback from the people. They said they liked it. Some of them actually just cleaned the plates to a point to where I was like, oh my God. Old sex prepared, you liking for you? It's all good? Wonderful. Happy to hear that. Thanks very much. Change comes slowly to a lot of people, and it's, it's difficult. But not all change is bad. Glenn tracks Janet down at a local bar. He's in no mood to party. Come on over here for a second. Let me talk to you. What is Glenn doing here? I mean, he can't just show up to my birthday. I mean, very awkward. No, I didn't want to. I didn't want to embarrass you in front of all your friends and everything else. But weren't you supposed to be working tonight? I mean, yeah, but I called in. No, there's no record of you calling in. Not with security, I called in. It's on Ron. my phone. Do I need to bring my phone out? No, I called it. Yeah, but didn't you already ask for the night off the night before? I did, yeah. And I didn't get off, Ron but I called him. Well, he, did, he told me to go home last night and come in tomorrow. Yeah, you were 40 I minutes late last night. Yeah, I had car problems. And then, and then you asked him for the night off, and then you don't show up tonight. Yeah, I called And then all the other girls didn't show up either. I can't get blamed for what all the other girls do. Well, they just follow your lead. Uh, you know they do that all the time. It's my birthday. It's my I understand it's your birthday, and all you had to do was ask me for the night off like a week ago, and I would have given you the night off. That's all you had to do. I I've never that. denied you anything, and I stuck my neck out for you. I've gone out on a limb. I see a lot of potential in you, but you know what? To do something like this to me tonight, it's just inexcusable. I got these cigars for you. They're for your birthday. Happy Thank birthday. You. You're fired. No, what? You're fired. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm very serious. Glenn. Don't bother to come in tomorrow or anything else. You gonna pull something like this? That's it. Glenn, really? Really. Thank you.